Hello, and welcome back to part two of this uh, scenario, very French scenario. Actually, I don't know if I ever said the name of it, but uh, The Message of Art is the name. Uh, if you missed last week, don't worry, we'll do a little recap at the beginning uh, to jog your memories and also our players' memories of what happened. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to have you all here. Thanks for joining us again. Let's bring you all in so we can get to solving this mystery. Becca Scott, are you here? It is I. I am here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, um, I mean, you're, you know. <laughs> <laughs> on your channel. Thanks yeah. for, um, yeah, showing up to your channel. <laughs> It's my pleasure. Uh, I Oh my gosh, I really love your little rose. Uh, I forgot <laughs> to tell you that. Um, thanks to everybody watching at home for coming back. Joe, I'm so excited for your for your part two uh, of I'm your too. third session that you've ever done of Call of Cthulhu. And they're all on this stream. That's, that's correct. Yeah, they are. That you've <laughs> Not that you've played. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so in watching a little bit of playback, I realized, oh no, I have the most incredible French accent anyone's ever heard. I think I'm going to save it for really special moments this, yeah. this night on this night. Okay. Good. 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 You're welcome. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> our next player. Hey, wait, hold on. We got to tell them that what? we have a sponsor. Oh Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's Chaosium! Surprise! Publishers of Call of Cthulhu! <laughs> uh, they're so wonderful to sponsor this show, and you can get 10% off anything on their website if you use our offer code KALIX2021. That's it. Yay! Thank you, yeah. Chaosium! Thank you, thank you. Seriously, check out their stuff, guys. Yeah, that's the number Good. one way you can support this show and keep it going. There's lots of really pretty art, and so even just flipping through for that, because I always get like books and PDFs for everything. I feel like I refer I to them, but then cover. I just like looking through all of the art in in like tangible hardcover. I don't know if that's just me. Oh, oh no, God, it's ridiculous. Me too. I have to bring <laughs> Jasmine, <laughs> that bronze girl in because she's just making faces and no one can see. No, she would no. never. I would never do something like that. Hi, hello. It is I, Jasmine, that bronze girl, Bulek. So happy to join you all today. <laughs> Thanks Yay! for playing this game with us. Uh, great. <laughs> Let's bring in. Uh, can we get Anjali in here as well? Hello. Um, I was just totally distracted by an adorable dog that peeked in the door just to make sure I was here and then fled. Aww. So Whose I dog thought is we it? would have it's mine. <laughs> Why were you surprised? <laughs> I was surprised because he doesn't normally like to come into my office. And today he was like, What's up, mama? What are you are you are you doing something? Okay, bye. Just, just making sure. Just making sure that I was still here. Hi guys, I am Angeli. Uh, today we are going to pronounce my name in the French way, Angeli. Uh, oh, yeah. Like the stinky perfume from the early 80s, late 70s. If you have not smelled said perfume, consider yourself lucky because is it, it is disgusting. It is spelled E-N-J-O-L-I. No, seriously, it's the best worst commercial in the history of mankind. You got to go watch it on the YouTube when oh, you're not sure. watching this because it's so good. It's so pronounce. bad that it's good. It has a theme song and everything, and therefore I have a theme song. Um, That's amazing. Uh, very, oh. I'm very happy about it. And I often uh, sing it when I go into it's casting the rooms. Yes, exactly. <laughs> goes, Wait, that's all home. of them. So it goes, okay, here it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to sing it. This woman comes in, and she, like, comes home. She's, like, walking in like this. She goes, I can bring home the bacon. Anjali fried up in a pan. Anjali, but I will never let you forget you. Oh, I just realized I'm bouncing up and down on my um, exercise ball and it looked like I was doing some kind of crazy dance. 
Uh, it made no. me want to dance. It worked it for the song. It made me want to buy this stinky ass perfume. Dude, yeah, it, right? it, the commercial made me want to buy the stinky perfume. And then my grandmother bought it for me and I immediately changed my mind. Did it smell oh, like me? No. no. <laughs> the lovely thing is that uh, when I sing that song to people, then they never forget how to pronounce my name. So it's Anjali, not Anjali, Anjali. Yeah. That's how no. I do it. Anyway, uh, hi guys. Super excited to be returning as Edwina Alexander, who seems to flip between having a British and a French accent at will, <laughs> um, because she's British and she's French. So why the hell not? That works. <laughs> okay. I didn't story. tell I'm you to it. last time, but I think it's very funny that you uh, keep bringing up that she's British and French, like as if this is some like uh, uh, surreal thing, like, you know, like, cause that happens in nature because I, I totally. Am- Happens. I'm half French, half Scottish, so it's like. So then, this <gasps> happens, but I just made a decision because I didn't want to decide between. Them. How bizarre <laughs> and unusual! <laughs> to two, two UK French creatures on this show. We got them mm. both. All, All right. right. See what so, I'm saying? Because you're stuck in your head. Like, telling yeah, you it's to in there. The break. It's so good. Anywho. All right. So to recap what happened last time, all three of you were attending the closing party for the Salon de la Rose Croix, which uh, was is run by Josephine Peladen. Yes. You all attended said party, talked to so many people, uh, some names to to uh, remind Maximilian There was a Justine. Van. There was a Justine. Right. There was a uh, Beth Sheba and Pierre Laroche and Dominique de Neriez and Amy Prino. Oh, yeah. And- Amy is the one. Amy is the one you're like, oh, you're pretty. Yeah. Uh, At least and- one was a succubus, but-, but maybe all of them. Really? Yeah, no, we're pretty sure Beth Sheba, with a name like Beth Sheba, come on. She's an alien um, or a pharaoh. She's, she's <laughs> something, yeah, she ain't, she's something not of this world, and it's because yeah. of her that our brains are going to get eaten. Uh, that's what I think is going to happen. We're all going to die because have of a her. Brain worm? I have something like that, whatever the, the thing is. you and Becca both just have the thing, Okay, worm. the dog is back. Can we just take a moment? This is what happens. <laughs> he knocks the door open. He does this, and he just stands there. Hey, just want to make sure you're What's still up, here. Dude? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry. It doesn't I like to. closed doors. I get it. Um I like closed doors. Unfortunately, we need the door closed because there's lots of music going on in this house right now. Yeah. So I'm gonna get up again. That's fair. Uh but yeah, okay. definitely Back to you. Both of us have brain worms. That's a fact. Yes. Both Anjali yes. and I. Yeah, our our brains are likely to explode. It would be Clovis's preference to maybe find some way to counteract that. Yeah, I would second that motion. Not really interested in dying, but you know. Uh, yes, not speaking really of. Speak. Yeah, your poor friend Antonin Pinot, yes. however. You, yeah. uh, we ended last session after you all, you were with Josephine having just come back from, she had just come back from the gallery and you discovered Pinot in the bathroom with the back of his head blown out where and the uh, oh, wow, inside of his shirt. skull sorry i just now i'm just now noticing it matches the i didn't <laughs> oh, we so are cute. so easily so distracted this tonight. is part of the this is part of the brain work <laughs> well i didn't um, the brain she put her arm up uh, i how was i going <laughs> to see that well she really <laughs> should have been dancing during <laughs> angeli yeah yeah exactly just like that just like that when you could see it <laughs> What? Like oh that. wait, there's an what image. Time, oh my god, you guys are all gonna die tonight. <laughs> yes, we are. Just hopefully not too soon. Um. Anyway, the Brand inside of us are allergic to really expensive stinky perfume. You don't know. You I never know. You 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 ought to try it. Um, the inside of a skull is empty like it is completely gone there's nothing left within his skull and we're going to start tonight's session with all of you rolling a sanity oh, oh no. Wait, but clovis would like to say yes, as uh pino's dear friend who's mm. to say that he ever had anything in his skull to begin with oh wow oh, what so a dear friend 
it's a joke. He didn't, he wouldn't say that. He's actually bawling. Like he's devastated. Oh. Poor boo. Poor baby. Oh. But not really. Right. Okay, sanity. Sanity. Come on, yeah, I've sanity. Passed, so I, I apparently don't care. I'm like that feller's head just caved in. <laughs> okay. This rat caved in. You passed. <gasps> yeah. I rolled in roll twenty. I see. I have an extreme okay. success of a three. Okay. Um, I succeeded, but not extremely so. I have a 47 That's under okay. 60. I just need to know success or failure. Those of you that succeeded, okay, but which like... sounds like all of you succeeded, you all still lose one sanity. Uh, boo. <sighs> I don't like this game that anymore. Yes. <laughs> okay, we just add, we just, we just fix we that talk, in roll 20. Anjali, right? you have a need to win in every game, which I appreciate deeply. And also, you will lose sanity tonight. Yeah, in this okay. game. Fair. Good to know. You're right. I do have a need to win because I'm Indian. It's beautiful. So it's, part, it's just part of our DNA. Yeah, Indian. yeah. I don't have a need to win, but I do have a need to fuck other people over because I'm Indian. <laughs> there you go. The need to control is I, different. I'm not touching oh, that one. Oh, man. Oh man! We've already we've already offended like, all of our own to, people. I need to have wow, a wow, hand wow. in who wins. You know what I mean? I'm mm. like I see what you mean. I'm like mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. all, right. all right. Well, <clears throat> this is how we are. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's, our blood. Can I, can I describe that Clovis? Well, he does not break with sanity too extremely. He drops to his knees as he finds the body of his friends, and he would like to go next to him and. Uh, just touch a hand onto his shoulder nearby. Uh, he okay. knows he knows that there is no bringing him back at this point, but he would like to shed um, a tear. Okay. At this point, having heard Josephine's gasps, uh, the maids, the butler, Kofi has come over, and then uh, the rest of the guests, everyone is, you know, circled around behind you all, like, oh, mon dieu, mon dieu, I was it a murder? I don't know what suicide i don't know i don't know um but everyone is muttering and everyone's looking on in shock and uh Kofi leaves um and comes back shortly saying uh madame i've called the gendarmerie uh which are the police in france by the way oh. <laughs> and um <clears throat> yes unless you want to do anything it's not long before the police show up see what has happened and immediately call for the detectives to to Ooh. come over because this is uh, very unusual. Um, I have pulled my friends aside. We have done nothing wrong, yes? We should speak with these detectives, give them every everything we know. Uh, no, we've done nothing wrong, but I, I'm still confused as to why, why the back of his head's missing. Yes, I must admit that troubled me as well. Maybe it grew legs and walked out. Oh, really? A, de a detective uh, walks in behind you all and sort of to everyone muttering and says, All right, all right. If we could get everyone into the library, please. We're going to be conducting uh, some questioning some uh, as we see what has happened here. Everyone, please file down into the library. We will ask you in when it is your turn into the lounge. Until then, no one leaves. Um, as we are moving to the library, I definitely want to look around and see who, if anyone, doesn't make it into the library of our of our of the people we know. Okay. Like, is anybody sneaky? Is there anybody who's sneaky, sneaky, not going into the library? Particularly Bathsheba, or. Um, her honey. What's right. name? Uh, it's Pierre Laroche. 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 Coffier is the butler. It's okay, you guys. It's only been a week. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I remember these things. Um, so let's do a spot hidden if you're really okay. keeping an eye out. To, um... I'm really keeping an eye out. Really, really. That is a 26 under 45. Okay. Um, no, everyone seems, everyone is, is close together right now, so, um, it would be very difficult for someone to leave, you know, unnoticed, and right. especially if there's multiple police officers, and they are, like, stationed around, making okay. sure that they can see down the halls, and so everyone goes straight to the library. Where's Josephine? She's with you all. 
Um, and okay. she she goes to the library as well but you do as the the detective speaks to her he says uh you are uh you're the host is that correct and says, uh yes yes he says uh can we speak with you first please and she gets taken in to the lounge for questioning mm -hmm. first before is i go into the library can i get a quick sneak peek back at the murder scene and see Absolutely. if there's any brains on the walls or if it's just mm blood it's yeah you don't need to do a check for that it's covered in uh like brain bits ah blood. Oh, okay that's important it is yeah, outward. outward from the I end file that because that's pressure that doesn't mean his yeah 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 yeah, yeah. He didn't get eight or f flying out it right, got right right it got yeah. expelled i i let edwina know that i'm like it's much better that feller's brain actually ain't missing. It's smeared on the wall. Oh, delightful. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine the three of us are hanging back a bit, you know, going to go to the library, but being the last ones to go. And mm -hmm. um, can can I examine the lock uh, or the, the door handle and see if there, if it, it seems like it could be locked or if it was tampered with? Mm, if it was tampered, the bathroom door? Yeah, I, I just want to verify that uh, it wasn't um, broken in to, mm -hmm. you know, that whatever happened, he went in with to begin with. Okay, um, do you want to do... Wait, that whatever happened he went in with is what you're trying so to do? Whatever was going on, whatever, the whatever was going on. Now that I have, you can see the oh facial hair of Clovis. Yes, oh my god, Albert. I'm so excited. Perhaps you will so understand excited. more. Yes, Vivian, Edwina, I think that uh, he went in by himself. I saw no one else go. Uh, well, we spent a moment in there with him, but he was already feeling pretty sick when we went in. Then we left. I don't believe anyone went in after us, did they, Viv? I want to check the lock and see. Okay. Um, so if you're checking the lock for tampering, it'll be a... Uh, what is it? Locksmithing? Is that what it's called? Yeah, or maybe um, just a spot hidden because I'm not trying to bust it open. I'm just trying to see if someone else busted it open. So like... Which requires like knowledge of the inner workings of the door. You're trying to see if it's outwardly like broken. If it's... If it... Just a... Just a you know, a layman's visual check. If it's a seems layman's tampered. visual check, won't require a check. It the door is fine. Like the door looks and works, operates perfectly and fine. Was He's there dead. any other? Was there a window in the bathroom or anything like that, or is it just like a completely closed bathroom? Just a closed bathroom. Okay. Right. So it seems that perhaps his brain was expelled. From the inside out, yes? I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> but you play them on TV? Oh, but sorry. I play them on TV. <laughs> what is uh, a TV? <laughs> but no. I, I feel like that is not a normal, natural thing to happen to a brain. One of the uh, uh, no. police officers who's, who's stationed just near the bathroom says, there is a doctor that will be on his way as well. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, excuse me, uh, uh, Officer, what's your name? Mm, Riker. Oh, Officer Riker. Um, um, hello, my name is Edwina, Edwina Alexander, perhaps you've heard of me? Uh, I, I just wanted to check with you, when you all came in, was there, was there anyone milling about outside? I mean, anyone, I don't know, it, this is obviously a bit terrifying for all of us, and it would just be nice to know if there's anything unsavory happening around here. Well, madame, if you allow us to do our jobs, then perhaps we can tell you more, but seeing as we've just arrived and you are still loitering the hallway when we've asked you to go to the library, not much is known yet. Right, well, of course, I, <laughs> of course we're heading into the library. It'd just be so nice to have a... Uh, a chaperone, uh, uh, someone strong and uh, safe, like an officer, perhaps. Perhaps we call you number one. Our number one officer in charge. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I love you so much, Becca Scott. I just want to say that. Look. No? 
Oh, okay. I have to stay here with the body. You see, he like leans into the bathroom. He's like, from what I can tell, this man is dead. Yes. Right. So you have any other cases around town of people's heads spontaneously just expelling outwards in this fashion? No, I have to say this is a first. Oh, okay. Yeah. That that was really my main concern. Mine too. I'm I a mean, bit. Was, was a... This is happening in France. I want to catch that. Maybe it might be time to get a boat home. But you know, oh, this is uh, not a French thing. No. No. Well, mm. The um, detective well, ex exits from the over at the lounge and makes his way over and he says, uh, you, uh, Edwina, well, I'm yes? British. Edwina, come in. Uh, uh I'd yes, like to speak with you, please. Of course. Oh, of course. And I walk with him looking over my shoulder at my friends. <laughs> uh, I'll follow. I'll... <clears throat> uh, and he puts his hand up his... Oh. One at a time. Don't worry. If you're also eager, we'll speak to you each in turn afterwards. Oh, all right. It's not very often that I'm alone with a, a strapping young officer. Inappropriate. Um, <clears throat> but I'll let it slide. This detective's like in his 50s, at least. Um, <laughs> and when he goes in, there is another detective in there. So he's like, yes, I'm yes, all right. Well. Strapping young officers. <clears throat> Um, Miss Alexander, uh, and he is going to question, actually, we will ask, instead of having you each recount all of the evening, what I would love to know is, um, each of you will come in one at a time. Is there anything that you are not going to let the detectives know about what happened? Like what you... I'm a little nervous about telling them about the brain worm, which we're calling the brain worm, but not really a worm. Um, but just the, the... There's just something strange about that with Sheba woman. Uh, actually, you know what? I am going to tell them. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> yes, okay. the word was around. was been around for centuries. Um, so yes, I, I'd very much like to bring that up. Uh, okay. And the way I'm going to bring that up, I think. Oh, anyway, let me let you guys. Yes. Is there anything you don't want to say? Well, so I, I'm going to, so like, including conversations oh. that you had with anyone. Um, right, right, right. You, um, I know. I don't want to tell them. I don't want to tell them that I snuck into the library. I don't want them to know anything about that. Okay. Um, uh... Naturally, I will not say that I went upstairs and found nothing. Okay. Uh, Even, nor yeah. will I tell them about my painting of the labia unless they ask specifically. It's sitting yeah. in the lounge that they are in, but Do yeah, no, I don't think it? they will probably ignore it if possible. <laughs> it is trash. Burn it, I say. <laughs> uh, Vivian. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I would uh, not disclose. Okay. Um, and uh, and I do. I think we all pretty clearly want to tell them about the whole grandfather clock timing okay. situation. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, uh, that that people were coordinating something, but we don't know what. Because so we saw. Who exactly do you implicate? You know, you mentioned that Bathsheba. You're going to say what you think that she's... Well, yeah, but that's not implicated in the grandfather clock situation. Mm -hmm. It would be... What's his name? I keep wanting to say Maximilian coiffure, but that means hair straight. Levant. That means hairstyle, and that's not... So yeah, so Maximilian, um, okay. um, the, the, the butler, Coffier. and Amy. Coffier, thank you. Not coiffure, coiffier. <laughs> coiffure and, is a haircut. And Amy. Yeah, not Amy, the maid. Not Amy, the maid. Ah. Okay, so... Maid. Okay, and the maid as well. All right. Yes. So... Uh, good, 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 good to know. Um, yeah. And we want I, to tell I, him that she was that she. It, it looked like she was having words with him, but she was not and, and checking the. So you know, it's very possible that she was operating under orders from him. But whatever it was, it was very sketchy, and, and more than one person was doing it. We are setting ourselves up to be giant targets of whatever evil is in this place. I see. Okay. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, 
unless eat any of you have anything specific that you want to um... I can't place it I can't place why this is but that beautiful beautiful woman who seems so kind and caring and like the perfect muse there's something about her that it scrambled my brain a little bit when she spoke to me and I don't know how to describe it any better than that uh ended up with a little bit of a headache even um <sighs> and I, I believe that i believe that our young friend who passed away uh, just now believed that he was working particularly closely with her husband for a while so i, I don't know if that's related in any way right um so this beautiful woman uh, has inspired you and you think that she is um, somehow responsible? I don't know if she's responsible. I just know that there's something odd going on there because I don't believe I'm the only one who's being affected this way. And you can ask around and maybe no one will tell you anything but I'm just being as forthright as I can be. She's lovely, but right. there's something off. Right. Well, we'll uh, get to the bottom of it. Uh, meanwhile, thank you for this. The the clock setting very odd indeed. Uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Thank you. Yeah. And he uh, mm -hmm. lets you leave. And, and it's the same line of questioning with each of you, unless you're going to add when something specific. I'm you know. in with uh, this detective. Mm -hmm. Clovis has some important things he'd like to get to the bottom of. I am certain there have been replicas of my artwork. I need you to go after these people, whoever they are, that have been uh, creating counterfeits of my art. Is this what you came here to discuss? No, not at all. Uh, right. That will be all. Thank you, Mr. Herbert. Yes. Uh, no, I, it's, it's okay. Well, I will follow up perhaps at the station, or uh, do you want to follow up with me? Right, yes. It just, you file a report. How about that? Now, I'm sure As we'll I walk out, it. I give a smug look to Edwina like they didn't get any information off of me. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, Vivian, do you add anything specific? Uh, no. <laughs> Probably mentioned that there was a diversion. Yeah, that was the grandfather uh, clock thing. Uh, I'll mention that there was a, you know, to point out the maid snitch a little bit, that there was a maid and that there was a very specific diversion. And I'm going to, by the way, Vivian talks to them like she's one of them. Well, fellow officers, as you know, I, I have pieced some of this together myself. You see, there was a clock. Two people made sure they were synchronized. Now, I know you know that's a pretty common tactic when it comes to these unsavory criminal sorts. And they created diversion and crashed some glass on the ground. And when everyone was gathered there, that's when... I think something must have transpired in that moment. <clears throat> right. We'll get to the bottom of it. Thank yeah. you. I offer my services for anything you fellas might ask. That won't be necessary. Thank you. Well, keep me appraised of the situation, y'all, okay? So be safe now. We absolutely don't need to do that. All right. Have a good time. <laughs> <That's> your heart. <laughs> okay. Um, while I'm waiting in the hallway, can I take yeah. stock of um, just as, you know, take a look around size up there's a cat <laughs> <laughs> so sorry for the uh non-cat fans in this um, room who would um, be such a person i mean i may not be a cat fan but i'm definitely a fan of there being a cat's butt yes. in front of your face yes. i'm not adorable. a fan of this cat either his name is little bastard and he just lives here i can't get rid of him um okay <laughs> i mean uh, this I wanted is good I want to. I want to check Aww. and see if anyone except Maximilian and Amy and, or not Amy, uh, and the maid and Coffier are looking suspicious. 
Like whose eyes are darting around? <laughs> like like they the don't, don't look at the the, don't give him attention. <laughs> this is what he wants. He's just pushing it. At us, He's dude. just pushing it more and more. It's just it's so good. <laughs> Do you see that butthole right next to That's me? Fantastic. <laughs> this is what cats do. Be glad you're allergic. Be glad. <laughs> What are um, you doing? So, yes, she's taking stock. Besides those, uh, no, no one is darting around. Well, I mean, people look uncomfortable. They all just saw the same thing that you saw. People are, um, but nothing out of the ordinary. Not what, you know. Actually, well, give I'm me right. a spot hidden check. Okay, he specifically muted the chat button where you guys, like, only pushed this one button so I couldn't hear you. Anyway. <clears throat> oh. So <laughs> 47, which is ah. a, just barely a success. Okay. Um, yeah. It doesn't seem out of the ordinary. People are a little, you know, are upset, are shaken by what they've seen. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. But does Maximilian uh, look suspicious? Oh, you wanted to look specifically. Well, I thought you wanted to look at everyone else but them. Basically, I wanted to know if we uh, had missed any culprits, if we didn't see anybody oh, see. checking their watch that seems to be in on it, that seems to be sus. Uh, mm. But while I'm looking around, like, and Maximilian does look sus, I assume. The maid seems nervous. Maximilian, um, he's kind of hard to read. It's hard to tell. <laughs> um, it's... Uh whether he's up to something or if he's just shaken by the events. Just um, uh, Bathsheba seems fairly calm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem... What about uh, uh, La Roche and La Roche? Josephine? Uh, La Roche is, is shaken as well because he worked okay. hand in hand. He's actually visibly upset. Right. Yeah. So Bathsheba right. seems calm when she's currently at a murder scene? Like in... Uh, you mean she seems the same level as everyone else or she is calm? She's calm. Mm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and how's, uh, uh -huh. how's Josephine? Josephine how's, is how's shaken Josephine? as well. She's upset that this even happened. You know that the right. you can tell that uh, she's. I would. Love she's to apologizing go to, to people and. Yeah. I, I'd love to go over to Josephine. Okay. Hell. Um, so I go to Josephine and I say, Josephine, I I can't believe this happened. I I. Uh, are you all right? Are you? Uh, uh, what can I do? How can I be of service? I, 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 I don't, I don't know how this happened. I mean, I, I thought this was going to be the first of of many salon uh, to come, and I, uh, this is this is horrible. I, I mean, Just the painting did so well, and may I, may I speak to you somewhere slightly? Like, I want to kind of guide her away from people so that we can just kind of talk about yeah, it. Yeah, just to a quietly corner of the can. library. Yeah, to a sure. corner. Josephine, I do not mean to pry into matters that are none of my business. But now that this is this has happened, is there anything that happened at your, at your ritual or, or with the order that, that might help us understand what's going on? But you know how interested in matters of the occult I am, and I know that you only use yes. your powers for good. And I would just... I, if there was something that you knew, some energy or something that you knew was about to happen. Well, uh, I, I'm glad you asked, actually. I I was looking to try and see if, if tonight was going to be a success, if we were going to make an impact in, in the art world, you know? I, and, you know, I saw that it would take more work, more salon in the future, and, and it wouldn't be enough with just one, but... Edwina, then I saw images of you. That's why I called you over. I, but I don't mean to tell you this after everything that has happened I, and, and to scare you, but it would be wrong not to say at this point, but I saw you in pain. There was blood coming from... Your eyes, your nose, your eye. I couldn't stand to look any longer, but you must protect I take her yourself. Hands. I take her hands and I say, I'm going to confide in you. But I need to know you're not going to share this with anyone else in the order. It's very important. OK. 
Okay. When I introduced myself to LaRoche's young new wife, Bathsheba. Queen Bathsheba, yes. yes. She's lovely. A lovely, lovely young woman, very beautiful and kind and graceful. When I spoke to her and when she attempted to inspire me, I felt something wrong in my head. Not just, uh, not just feelings, but something palpably painful, something palpably disturbing, something palpably disconcerting. And these are no vapors or, or hysteria. This was something more. And I don't believe I'm the only one who's experienced this around her. Uh, of course, um, I uh, I will do some research, see if there's anything I can find. Uh, the next. But be days. careful! Please do not say anything to anyone else. We don't know who else, and we would never want to hurt La Roche. We would never want to hurt anyone. Of I don't think she's course. evil, but I think there's something there's something strange going on. Obviously, yes. someone's head's been blown out the back of his head. Yes, that much is clear. Um, I will look through my library. Uh, all of this is very disturbing, and I'll spend the next few days uh, going over, and I, I will tell you if I find anything, and uh, you keep me updated as well, okay? Of course. Uh, may I ask you one last thing? And I know the timing is terrible, but... Of course, yes. I had hoped, because of my interest in the occult, and you know my deep-seated... Uh, respect and love for you i had hoped tonight perhaps you were going to invite me to join the order and i would oh. love to be i would love to be of service if there's any way i would love to be of usefulness to you during this time when you're trying to find out what's happening uh, yes i i know i know this um is something you're passionate about edwina i uh and it's not that I'm not taking it seriously. I just don't think that right now is the best time for me to add to my yes. order, uh, especially. I just thought that maybe. I just thought that maybe if there were there was any research I could do to help, or any searching I could do, or any studying I could do. I will let you know. I, I will give you a call once. Once this is. I need some time. Once everyone is yes. out. Once the gendarme. Once. Poor uh, Antonin's body has been. I will. Uh, I will call you. Okay. Oh, of course. Of course. If and, you need uh, anything. Right about this time, you start to hear a commotion um, as the maid has been called in for questioning, and uh, after she exits, goes back to the library. She's like visibly, like, like sort of not making eye contact. Next. Maximilien is called in and you see a detective walk out and call Josephine over to the lobby where he is holding up the book Évocation des dieux intérieurs de l'intérieur did you it's french mm -hmm. it's all french to me yes yes the 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 évocation des dieux intérieurs there yeah wow. something like that um <laughs> And uh, Josephine is like, what, what is this, Maximilien? You've taken the the, and you wanted to be part of the order. This is this is horrendous. And he's like, I I, I don't know what this is about. This I, I it's Josephine. I would never. I and the and there's back and forth like this and, and Josephine is appalled and uh, the detective sort of whisper in her, hear, her ear and she shakes her um, or she nods and Maximilien is handcuffed and taken out by some of the police officers. I lean into yeah. I, I lean I into had a feeling. <laughs> I lean into Viv and I say wait a minute that's the book Mm. That LaRoche put back. Not Maximilian. LaRoche. Right, but Max is the one that synchronized his watch and got the maid to drop the tray so he could probably lift it. And it you hear Amy's voice. Out. Amy's voice behind you. Oh my goodness. They just told me. He. 
He was trying to get me arrested. <gasps> they found that book in my coat. In oh your my coat? Gosh. It... In my the this book I would never I would never and she's going to Josephine who's come back to like I would never take I that. wanna do a psychology check and see how much we think that she's actually telling the truth. Okay. Yeah, do a psychology check. As we stand around her bear, uh Clovis. I super don't <laughs> that's a nineteen. <laughs> okay. Um nineteen under thirty. Um Amy, sweet as ever. <laughs> she's not uh as far as you can tell, she's she's just not as lying. shocked. No, she doesn't seem to be lying. Like she's like, I cannot believe I always thought Max was so sweet, you know? I I can't believe he would do this. Wow, her sweetness somehow sounds very disingenuous, but yeah, <laughs> she's but just, I don't right. believe you. <laughs> she's just slow. <laughs> okay. She's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. All right. All right. I just, um as we're, we're standing both around writers. I don't understand what is all this fuss about just a book. Why is it so special? Josephine chimes in. No one may take from my occult library. It is a private collection. It is not to be taken out or stolen from my property. This is a very valuable book, one of its uh, one of a kind. It is a book. I mean, you can't hang it on the wall. You can't uh, read it. Well, it is for sharing. I don't understand why you're so possessive. I know this. And I'm just going to step in because I want to get Josephine to know that I'm super on her side. <laughs> okay. Clovis, as much as I like you, you're being particularly dark right now. Oh, well, this is I'm... her personal this is her personal library, and that library is off limits to anyone who is not a member of the order. Everyone here knows that. We were told that when we first came in. Yes, yes, I understand, but now that I have you here, I simply ask these questions to understand why a man must die for a book. Uh, right at this time, Josephine is sort of taken away as a doctor arrives Ew. behind her. If and you she's like, That's sexist. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just, excuse me. I, you know, Albert, I, I heard you were an idiot, but I did not know it went this far. And she steps back to speak with the doctors. And you can all do listen checks if you want to hear sort of what they're. Um, what the doctor that is saying. Must that was a bit harsh. Being called. Close. <laughs> Close. Um, you know, you, I feel like you didn't deserve that. I agree. Uh, <laughs> no. But you agree I am an idiot? No. Stupid? N- not a deft? You know what? Well, no, while, while, the two of you, while the two of you are talking, I'm going to go find out what that doctor is saying. They're oh, just out we- in the hallway. You don't have to move. Like, you guys can stay in the library and just sort of, like, okay. you know. Cartoon style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The door. 17 yeah. over 40. 81. Clovis is loudly listing all the synonyms okay. he knows for stupid and that Vivian. he's been called in his life. I'm distracted by Clovis. Listen. listen. That's fair. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the... Okay. So, Edwina, you hear the doctor. He says, uh, it's very strange. I, uh, never seen anything like this before there is uh, no entrance wound to be found so uh, i don't think that uh uh it is suicide i don't know how you would uh do this to yourself uh but i see no weapons i i mean if it was murder, I'd, with no weapon I've ever seen before, I I don't know. It may be natural causes, but I will uh, have to do some more tests back at the morgue. So we will uh, clear this space from your home. Do not worry. It will only take uh, a few more hours. And, and the detective comes up behind him and he comes over to the library, to which I assume like whoever's by the door listening in a cartoonish manner it's like Whoa. <laughs> uh and they and he says uh all right we've spoken all we've have left to speak to uh other staff so everyone else uh, guests you uh are free to go 
Uh, detective, can I ask, why did you arrest Maximilian? <sighs> Turns out he, um, orchestrated some distraction that you all fell prey to, uh, to, um, snatch a book from Josephine's, uh, prized occult library, is that correct? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, we're just going to question him some more and, um, you know, keep him at the, uh... In a hushed tone, I want to say to the detective, you don't really believe some book of spells could cause all this. Cause the de- No, 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 he's just being arrested for theft. Ah, I see. Yes, Where a is serious the, crime. Where are LaRoche and Bathsheba and all this business? Um, as soon as he came in and said everyone was free to leave, uh, they left. Oh. He lost him. And everyone else is sort of like eager to go. It's like, at this point it is about 11.30 p.m. Oh, it's time and everyone to leave. Is Edwina. ready to go yes. home. They are there. Everyone's like shaken. This is not how the party was yeah. supposed to go. And everyone sort of starts making their way. Uh, I want to let my friends know that uh, perhaps I will casually walk home, but really, I will try and tell Bathsheba if I see her in the street. Tell her what? You don't, because they get into the carriage that they came in. Could and... I do, uh, uh, like, you know, back to the future, but without the skateboard, I just grab onto the back. <laughs> you oh, want to jump on fast. the Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you like, want to you know, run he has out... a skateboard and he grabs onto the back of the truck. You uh, just want to jump on the back of the carriage? Well, you, you could call it that. Sure. If you do that, um, uh, well, you can't. You guys spoke to the detective when he came in. As soon as yeah. he said... That it that everyone was free to go. People were, were leaving, and yeah, so we missed. They it. have left. Gotcha. Uh, I run outside. I look back and forth in the street, and I see no carriage. It is a shame. Yeah, you see some of the others sort of getting into theirs. You know, anyone else left over? Um, but they were first to leave. First, they were. Um. Now, it's time. Uh, what? do you all want to do, presuming that you go back to your respective homes, your apartments in Paris? I walk the street slowly home, uh, reminiscing on times past with my old friend Antonine Pignot. Actually, on your way out of the, out of Josephine's home, why don't you all give me one more spot hidden check? Oh, not that one. Big ol' fail. Uh, 52 over 40. Okay. All right, well, you all make your way. It's it's kind of like- No, 52 of- over 45, so it's not completely terrible. <laughs> a fail is a it's fail. It's still a failure. Um, so you all walk out- But a dog and- just came in. Don't I get a bonus for the dog that just came in? That's, no. yeah, I think, uh, I think so. That's in the rule book. And make your way home. But before um, I leave, I'll be honest, I, I don't really want to be alone tonight. I don't feel right. I don't feel good. <sighs> I, I, can, I can spend the evening with you and, you know, just keep an eye. And if anything seems weird, I'll notify a physician. I, I don't have any medical training myself, but I can, you know, I, I'll, I'll be with you. Besides, I got I, my teeth, so if someone tries to do anything... Inappropriate. That's not, exactly I like what I was thinking. Uh, Clovis <laughs> looks to both of you and looks sadly at the street and says, I do not wish to be alone. Uh, perhaps I could sleep on your doorstep. Just inside the door. I have made many stupid <laughs> mistakes inside tonight, but perhaps uh, if an intruder were to come, they would trip over my body and it would save you when I yelp. <laughs> I mean, I Pretty feel like we're <laughs> dealing with a lost puppy here. That is how I feel. Vivha actually laughs like that. You know what? I don't think he's much of a threat, Edwina. I don't think so either. All right. I suppose there's safety in numbers. I suppose there's safety in numbers. Let's go go back to the flat. Proper pajamas and not something. I packed nothing. I will just wear what I have or what I have. Yes, you'll sleep in all of those clothes. You'll sleep in all of those clothes. That's perfect. Let's go. 
Perhaps. Okay. And he kind of like wiggles in such a way that it's like a tail almost wagging. Okay, so you Where all just walking briskly and shaking my head. So you all go back to um, Edwina's apartment, then, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you wish to do anything else before you go to sleep for the night? I'd like to see uh, on our way home just uh, the the block. I mean, I know we had a map before of what the block was around her home. Mm-hmm. Is there anything? Uh, it, uh, I don't really remember what was around there, but uh, is there anything significant that we could, that we should know, that I need to know? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> what are the clues uh, we should have found? Yeah, right. <laughs> what are the clues we should have found if we weren't talking so much? Um, no, the, every, <laughs> there's, there's police officers, there's uh, more uh, medical type right, people from right, the morgue right. transferring the body um it's the same street that the gallery is on but that is closed up now and you're, still, we, you're uh, right around we can't go to the gallery. gallery okay no it is closed now um yeah it, it was right. being packed up but um yeah no there is we could break right, in nothing. i'm gonna uh, can i can i place some calls from my home you, of course who do you want to call all right, I want to call some of the gents over. It's at... eleven thirty when you leave. It's probably about midnight when you get back. Yeah, I I have been staying at the <clears throat> what's a really fancy French hotel. Josephine, help me out here. I was just gonna go with Ritz Carlton, but I don't know what the, what's appropriate. Sure, sure. I don't live in. Right. I, we're not from Paris. I don't I know. know. All right. Well, I, I'm going to call side. the really. No, they probably have a nap in the afternoon, so this is still early for them. Yeah. I'm going to call the the hotel front desk where I've okay. got a beautiful penthouse suite. Okay. And uh, I'm going to ask them if they can just if they could, you know, like it, I I tip them very well. I'm trying to see if I could do some type of like like connection slash credit rating check to be like, have you heard? Of an individual named Bat-Sheba. And if so, can you tell me when she got into town? Ah, Miss Enor. Uh, let me see. If you've got a giant penthouse, we should have gone to your place. <laughs> <laughs> well, you we... said your apartment it made more sense. We, uh, don't have any record of this, uh... Bathsheba on file, and I have not heard this name myself. Uh, I'm sorry I could not be of more help, Miss Enel. Uh, ask we... about Laroche. Ask about Laroche. Expect you this evening? Well, no, I probably won't be in tonight, but I still would like to have my my linens turned and washed, all that. Oh, of course, <laughs> bien sûr, uh, always. Yeah. Cause even if I even if I don't sleep in my bed, I still feel like it gets dusty. So I still like my yes, sheets washed yes. on a daily. Everything, dusty sheets. Everything Thank will be cleaned. Uh, of course, this is the way. It. Um, Wonderful. Whatever Carlton. hotel this is. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> At the whatever hotel. Paris, like, Paris it's a fantastic plus. Hotel. <laughs> the whatever Paris plus hotel. <laughs> You were sparing no expense. <laughs> I thought maybe. What? We could have stayed at the whatever Paris Plus Hotel. Now I just feel well, we've missed an opportunity. Dude. I didn't think it was a big deal, Edwina. Of course you don't. You're well, loaded. it sounds like you're having a good evening. Uh, we will see you in the morning, Miss Aino. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I, I had hoped yeah. maybe he had heard of her if she'd stayed there when she got back in town. I'm curious where she's from and exactly oh what her business here is. For her to just pluck up out of the blue and uh, whisk away this uh, dumpy artist man, you know, it just feels a little strange to me. I'd like to know about, I'm going to make it my personal business to know what her business here is exactly. I understand. I would think if she came to town to find that poor artist and help him to succeed, she might choose a more handsome one. Perhaps with or facial hair, uh, finally defining his jawline. 
Clovis, if you take up with that woman, your brain will shoot out of the back of your head. I don't think any punani is worth that. I'm just letting you know. Well, we don't know precisely that that is the reason. Of course, Pinot, he was not the one with Bathsheba. Pierre LaRouche was. Now, wait a minute. Now, I, La Roche I don't know. Was working with P La Roche was working with Pinot, right? That they were working on art, but it was never finished. Something of a bull. Very strong, very masculine artist. Bull. But, but my point I is, think. what if Bathsheba essentially was getting rid of Antony so that Laroche could somehow rise to more fame and... Then perhaps I could be next. My art, it is next to come up, it, everyone says. Uh, I'm, uh, Vivian, I don't know. Perhaps, maybe, if you were thinking of investing on my art, maybe it's not the time. I know, no, no, no. This no. is all just too much for me right now. I think I'm just going to go to bed. You stay away from me while I'm sleeping. I will protect, if, I'm right in front of the door. It, I, this, this space here is suitable for me. Viv, do you need anything before I go to bed? I don't think so. There is a part of me that feels like we should go down to to the not the what was the other location where they hold their the gallery. We've got the gallery. gallery. We've got the that feels absent like we'll yeah. snoop around the gallery and see what could be seen there. For some reason, I have a compulsion to take a look at this painting known as the the bull and the stone or whatever. The man and the is bull. it still there? The man and the bull. I think everything has been removed from the salon to the gallery, had it not? You recall that uh, Antonin, before his untimely demise, had said that it was going to be uh, brought back to his apartment. Yeah, I, I was going to suggest... Oh. What Remember, he didn't invite us. All right, he didn't new invite plan. Us. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make us all some coffee, and... Uh... And, uh, and we'll go. This if wonderful. you don't rest, you will incur a penalty to all of your checks. It's uh, best that we sleep. Uh, yes, but all right. Let's sleep. The so first thing in the morning. First yeah. thing in the morning. I want to remind them that uh, at the Absinthe House, he had invited both of them to view his sculpture and that I, I assume I know his address. Or his painting, yeah. Painting the sculpture was the here. Ball. The sculpture was the other thing. Right. Yeah, La Roche was supposed to have made a a sculpture of a minotaur that went with the painting, but he never finished that, and that's what Antonin was telling you about. Okay. It's strange. You could just so, call it block a... Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, let's go to sleep. You all finally uh, get some rest in your respective areas of the apartment. Vivian, you sleep pretty soundly because you guys have had a pretty full day. Um, however... <laughs> Clovis, images of childbirth haunt your dreams. At first. I, repeatedly, all night long. They look beautiful at first. I'm entranced, but then yes. they keep well, eating me and over and over. They, <laughs> they are beautiful, <laughs> and they uh, eventually you see the image of a mother holding a newborn in her arms. And uh, when you do wake up, you're inspired to create this image. Edwina, you're gripped by dreams of flying through cold, freezing air between mountains that stretch up impossibly high that they might pierce the very sky itself. You round one mountain seeing a vast city stretching before you in the frozen wastes. When you huh. awake, it's inspiring. It's beautiful. You just feel that you um, want to get it down on paper at some point. It doesn't mean, you know, there's no, you don't have to do it right away, but like you guys, those images stay with you. Yeah. Did you all sleep? Oh, like a baby. I accidentally drooled a little bit on one of your throws here. <laughs> uh, I think I will have... While I'm in the, the you know, main foyer, I would have uh, looked around to see if I can find any scrap of paper and bit of charcoal to, to sketch out these births, very Edwina, sort of exploding would... floral, floral affairs. You're not going to paint any more things and stick your foot through them, not in my house. <laughs> Sorry. 
you can do that in your own gallery. Write down your ideas, but that's it. We've got I think, to go. Uh, yeah, when I was in the living room, I've already done this. When you come in, I, I, I show it to you. I show it to you. <laughs> uh, oh, well, in order to fully capture this, this will take time. So uh, I woke up to her, to him. Yeah, if, if you stop, to make this happen. If you stop him, uh, yeah, it is not complete by the time Edwina wakes up. You're still in the middle of working sure. on it. Sure. Uh, well, if, if Edwina wanted me to not do this in her home, perhaps she pulls the charcoal out of Clovis's hand. Yeah. Clovis, oh, yeah. Clo not now. Another but, China. What is happening here? I am sorry. We it have, is not something I could stop. We've got to get to this gallery. We've got to get to the bottom of this. We've got to get on what's going on, scrambling your brain and giving me these crazy dreams. I don't like it and I, I don't want my brain back. You too. Let's go. <laughs> Edwina, do you think it's possible that whatever happened to our friend, that could be the thing trapped in our head? Do I think it's possible? I think it's probable. And my brains are going to explode out the back of my head any minute. So am I even going to Oh, for goodness Wrong sake. Mike, perhaps? No, I think it might just be the, the volume. Maybe it's Probably overcompensating. Was just, I just got really excited there. Sorry. Do I think it's, do I think there's, I think there's a 99.9% .9 chance that our brains are going to explode out the back I, of our heads I, at any I, moment. Edwina, listen, I'm not going to let that happen to you, okay? We're going to go to Antonin's apartment. We're going to figure out whatever bad, evil, Bat-Sheba did to him and we're going to undo it or you know or we'll kill Bat-Sheba yeah I'll do it I never <laughs> like her okay I, you know how much money I just I want to propose it horrible salon and now I'm going to probably lose all of it there's a dead feller there you know I don't it's fine I just I never take Vivian never takes the loss on the books never take <laughs> L in my life don't intend to start now but Edwina, I'm not going to let nothing happen to you, all right? We're in this together. Well, At this point, our fates are tied. That's wonderful, but I don't think you can keep my brain from exploding out the back of my head from the well, inside. So can we... Best. Let's get some Thank scones you. and some can coffee we... and get yes. to the apartment. All right, yes. okay, scones. So I do know a lovely assuming, scones place. Assuming you woke up the earliest you could, right? You do eight hours of sleep, you wake up around 8 a.m.? Sure. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> you stop for some scones and coffee at a cafe on the way and head to, where are you going first? Anton's his... apartment, which yeah. I think I might have been to because he's an old friend. He is, yes. It's very likely that you have. Um, are you breaking in? Uh, well, let's w test what does it look like? first. Yeah. Oh, it's a it's a fairly nice apartment. Um, it's not like the fanciest. We're still in Paris, but it's it's a, a fine apartment in like the maybe eleventh arrondissement. Let's get the. But, the uh, it is locked. To let us in and just you know, Clovis, you've been here before. Yes, uh, the landlady, she's very kind. Perhaps we'll. Yeah, drank a little too much last night. We just want to check in on and make sure he's alive. You know. Yeah. She, I'm sure she's. But don't you think? Don't you think the gendarme? Don't you think the gendarme are going to come to his apartment after finding him dead? Don't you think that'll make us suspects? If, if we, we say, break oh, in, that's going to make us a lot bigger suspects, Edwina. What if they come right, in? But we we've got to find a better story. We've got to find a better story than 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 he drank too much last night. Perhaps we tell the landlady that we have come to find personal effects for a memorial we are creating in his honor. All right, I'll buy that. We just have to go quickly because I'm sure the gendarme are on their way soon. Put the, put the, put the, you know, yeah, but not in your creepy way, in like a good, decent way. All right, Me? good luck. Yeah, I'm going to clap. Oh, okay. Back. Good luck. Uh, I want to knock, is there like maybe an older landlady of this building that's, you know, she'd be apartment number one, I imagine. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I knock yep. slowly, one knock, <clears throat> and then I wait a few seconds and then a second knock, and I'm leaning on the door frame. Uh, uh, Clovis, what's your charm? Bonjour. Uh, what bonjour. Can I help you? Mon amour. 
you, it's almost as if you hear the violins playing behind me. As, uh, Her eyes I, are like swollen. And, like she's clearly oh, no. was upset. Uh, perhaps oh. you know, my dear friend, as best in the night. Oh, oui, oui, c'est terrible, c'est terrible. She, and she starts crying again. I'm like, Perhaps you oh. could be, give me permission to his apartment. There is a uh, a relic of his. I, I would like to place it in a memorial that some artists uh, are creating uh, in his honor. Who are you? Me? You don't know? I would imagine my self-portraits have been in many, many... Uh, pardon Let me. See. Clovis Aubert. No, she's... I, I don't know you are. Ah, many people come go. I... Well, I cannot friend, just open friend. it. He just passed. I cannot just open up his apart to anyone who comes by. Uh, I'm Perhaps. going to step forward. I'm going to step forward. Madame, I'm so sorry for your loss, for our loss, oui. for our dear friend, our dear friend Antony. But you must understand, as close friends, Clovis as well, it would mean so much to us if we would be able to Perhaps at least step inside, even with you, with you watching, and oh. and we just want to get a one last brief look at some of his art before it gets taken away. Give me a persuade check, or charm. Charm, right? I have charm, or what's persuade? I think charm. Is what we want. I checked on you, Globus, and we don't want you charming. Um, where is persuade? Uh, uh -huh. Okay, we're, we're going to use charm. <laughs> okay. That is an 11 under 70. Uh, okay, I I will come with you. Um, I, uh, she goes and grabs her kefi and wraps up her robe and sort of grabs her keys and brings you up to uh, the second or where Can I just Antonin's... peek into her apartment before she closed the door, just to see what kind of artwork she has hanging? It's a mess. There's like oh. tons of art. There's tons of books. There's papers everywhere. You can barely see past. Like she only opened it like this wide, but everything you see is just like hoarder extraordinaire. Okay, got it. I judge her just a little. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's so terrible. What happened? She unlocks the door and sort of like, takes a deep breath and walks in. And But just right here, I, I do not feel comfortable having anyone go through. The gendarme, they call, they're on their way later in the morning. And so we, we cannot touch anything. Of course, we won't touch a thing. We just want to look. We were supposed to, before his untimely death, Antonin had invited us to see his latest masterpiece. Oh. This oh. is the only reason we're seeing it now. Oh, Antonin. I know, I know. I'm going to just grasp your hands. If you'd like to come with us, just to keep an eye on us, please feel free. Oh, she's I with you guys. You. Okay. Yeah, she's I'm just going to barge in, in the apartment. barge past oh. her. She can follow me, She, can, but I need to see this work. I need to know. Right. So, what do we see? Do we see? Do we see the man and the bull? What do we see? You do not. It uh, has not arrived yet. It's very early in the morning. You do not see it here. I'm just do gonna we... start scavenging around, looking for any occult Are books or anything. If you begin to like go in at all, she is going to put up. She's a not going to no, 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 no. that. No one, we are not allowed to touch anything, and I will tell the gendarmerie if you do. Well, Clovis, Clovis, respect for the dead. Yeah, you don't it's understand. Just... I need to know why. Uh, Clovis, but... Clovis. We all want to know why. We all want to know why, but we cannot know why these things are to act up. It's terrible. The terrible. detectives know nothing. They do not care about Antonin as we did. Can I, I do... do I take... uh, can, I, can I hold her hands and say... I'm sorry about my friend. I'm so, 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 so sorry. And can I make a, like a little face to live, to do a little slip in? I got you. You know, she knows, she knows what's, I'm okay, so, so sorry. Okay, I'll start making a bigger scene Clovis, in the yeah, hallway. Yeah, and as you, and as he talks, I'm like, Clovis, get outside. Get outside right now. No, no respect. Stupid. Go. 
Uh, that's Spanish. Okay. No, you, they say oh, I'm thick-headed, I'm daft, I'm, I'm scatterbrained. Okay, Viv, do a the... stealth roll, and I will see what she sees. Oh! <laughs> Don't be. Nice. Yeah, no, nah, she's all up in her feelings, so she does not notice Vivian. She's, you know, looking at Edwina and making sure Clovis is out there. And it's like, he was so sweet, a sweet, kind man. Vivian, what are you doing? Ah, okay. I just slink into the apartment while she's distracted. And first thing, since the painting isn't there yet, first thing I'm going to start looking for is correspondence, letters, uh, anything that looks recently disturbed. Okay. You uh, Recently disturbed would be like painting supplies. Okay. You notice that there is a new painting being done. And you remember Antonin mentioning to you that he was working on a new piece, a phoenix rising. Um, it is not complete. And you see iteration after iteration after iteration um, of him attempting to finish this piece. Is it similar to what Clovis has been doing? Like in, in the way that it looks? No. <laughs> No, 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 but in that, mm -hmm. like, that, that sort of, is that mania? Is that kind um, of, do I read that from, like, the, the art style? Or is this, like, the very trained, like, sort of hand? Like, is this his normal process? Or is this, like, a... Honestly, a lot of them are beautiful pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you would have probably called it, done, you, you know, a lot of them look gorgeous. But, you know, each time he's going, it's getting just a little bit closer to what he is you know like to this really beautiful form you see that it's almost there and that this last piece is like not even finished um do a well, can i do an appraise check appraise to see if this sure. matches his normal style sure yes all right let's see oh my god i have a 50 in appraise and i still didn't hit it oh, <laughs> oh no yeah it's hard to say um he had, he liked to try different things you know and was constantly like partnering up with other artists as well it's hard to to really i'm gonna take one of one of the the ones on the floor that's been discarded fold it up hide it in a pocket and then try to see if i can find it's a canvas Th these are like big oh, paintings so like, so like <laughs> yeah. how large are we talking they're they're large um uh, large <laughs> i don't know um not something you can hide no, no, yeah, not probably, like four to five feet. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that'd be a lot harder to had. I was. Thinking do you have your iPhone with you? Could you take a picture of it? <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna look for like any recent correspondence or anything okay. like that. A spot hidden. Check, please. My, you know, I'm gonna spend three luck to turn that to into a get that. Okay, nice. Um, because that's so close. Yeah. Mm. Um, you see, there's nothing out of the ordinary that you see. You know, just regular. I mean, is mail coming in? You see some correspondence between him and Laroche, but it's about the man and the bull. You know, and about it, and um, it's from. The last he heard from from the rush, the last correspondence he got was about a week ago, and um, it's not like they don't speak by phone either. Um, so it just said that he was working on on the sculpture, though. That was the last correspondence from from La Rush. But otherwise, yeah. Does it have an address on the ordinary it for La Roche? Yeah, it does have his address. I'm gonna scoop that up. Okay, it is not in Paris. Oh, all right. It's, well. it's in uh, Toiry, which is like 36 miles from Paris. All right, I'm going to pocket it just in case. Show it to everybody else when I get back to them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, well, well, after the, we get rid of the lady. Um, right. Uh, uh, and you as out? you are... You're coming back, you know. Um, the I'm still ranting like, and naming different sure. words for dumb. She's saying, uh, you know, we really should. The uh, gendarmerie is going to arrive, uh, you know, in about uh, 30 minutes. So. Of course. Then we, we should, should go. Thank she kind of looks at you weirdly on that comment, but. Fine, we will go. If you don't want us here, you won't even let us see our friend's art. Please pay no attention to him. He's he's worried and he's disturbed and he's 
sad like all of the rest of us. I suppose yes. everyone takes grief in different ways. Okay, and she just sort of like lets go of your hands and starts locking up Madame, the door. Madame, before, before, before we go, you notice our friend behaving strangely in any way over the last few days or so. When we saw him last night, he seemed to be in a, a bit of a state. You know, I had not really seen... He was not very... Uh... Active, he was, you know, stayed in his apartment uh, the past two days. I don't know. I, I did not see him. I, last time I saw him was maybe uh, three, four nights ago. Oh, oh. he has I'm not sorry. stayed here I, for three I, nights. I need to what he said. No, no, no. Oh. No, he was. He just did not leave the apartment. I don't know. I assume he was working on something. It's it's common. It's common. Please, I I would like to. Please, it's early. I, I need to go. And she starts like sort of like. Well, she's locked the door, so she just starts heading back down to her, to her apartment. I think perhaps we need to find this painting, and we need to leave before the police arrive. I agree. I, I do think that maybe y'all should refrain from giving in to these flats of wanting to draw. Probably the best. Right. Antonin's apartment was full of photos of a phoenix, something new that he'd worked on. I mean, every iteration was more beautiful than the last, and yet he still kept drawing them and drawing them and drawing them. Do but the think? last one wasn't finished. What if what if what if his brain exploded because he didn't finish it? What do you if you all leave or are you having this conversation? Well, I think oh, as yeah, we're no, leaving we're the like, building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're on the street. Of- we're getting out of here. Yeah. Okay. Uh what and if I think you we have should- to finish it. What if you don't finish it? Bathsheba is gonna blow your brains out of the back of your head. Or perhaps the opposite. If you achieve a perfect version that is when you serve no more purpose. But he his version wasn't finished. How do we know? Cause I Where saw you... it was on the easel and it wasn't it wasn't done. Where do you head to next? It is uh just about to be ten AM now. I kinda wanna stand on the sidewalk and see if we see any people with the canvas coming in. And I wanna mm. Attempt to pretend to, or actually buy it, because art goes up in value when the artist. Is there, <laughs> so, but um, I also want it. <laughs> so you're just kind of hanging out or outside the is there, apartment. Is there a cafe or something where we could sit and sip cafe watch. outside and watch the area? Ooh, stakeout. Yep. Uh, stake? Yes, absolutely. There's a cafe, um, so you can go sit on the terrace and. Uh, you have full view of the street. You see the police arrive and go inside um, at 10 a.m. How long are you going to stay at the cafe and watch to see if a painting arrives? Not lo- too long after the yeah. Because I have a couple of other theories. And uh, we could also go check the gallery. 30 minutes? One hour? Probably an hour. Okay. Yeah. Any good stakeout is at least an hour. Plus, that's what five espressos. Yes, <laughs> will be. Will Plus, be... I, I did order a muffin, and I do intend to eat it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I offered politely to go to the counter on behalf of everyone, but then I turned to Vivian and asked, "Perhaps you give me a, a, a dollar oh, too." Here you go. Yeah. Uh, yes, I will of course go get it. Thank you. Play song for me, please. He wants to be a gentleman. He's just a real no, poor painter. He's just awkward. And so you, sweetheart, do you, you do not s- if I could get access to some type of occult library since you seem to be into that? I want to figure out if there's any connection between this phoenix and this vagina that Clovis keeps painting. Please, I can't that's, get it out of my head. Well, that's an excellent question. I mean, the only library that I know of is is Josephine's. Because, like this, like birth, rebirth. Uh, the phoenix represent like there's got to be some type of connection here. I'm not crazy, right? I've read. No, a- it does make sense. Did you? What did you dream of? Don't be shy, Weena. What did you dream of? Did you dream of birthing? <clears throat> no, Viscera? nothing. Nothing of the sort. I was was flying through the icy cold mountains, 
It was chilly and, and frigid and inspiring and breathtaking and painful and wonderful all at the same time. It was, it was magnificent. And then it was also terrifying. Do you want to uh, give me an occult check? Anyone that wants to on, on this uh, description. Clovis will give may. it a try. Let's do it. <gasps> Oh, I uh, rolled a twenty nine on twenty five, so I could spend four luck. Can I roll? Yeah, I'm looking looking for an extreme. Can I roll my education that. to see if this is something that I know that exists or doesn't? Okay. Like if I know this is if this is like I don't know. Yeah, but... the education won't help with the like occult knowledge. Yeah, but I'll look I for the occult part. Can you tell look for you the if uh, we, you know you know that you have not read it in your. Hmm. Like just an education, for sure. You, uh, you, or it sounds like maybe from a fantasy book. You know, maybe she read yeah. it. Okay. Oh, fuck. Hold on. <laughs> I'm too old for this, you guys. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Thirty-nine under fifty. Thirty-nine under fifty. So, you're not sure, I mean... It's not an extreme success. No, and to be honest, it's not something that anyone would know concretely about, but you wonder if it has to do, you know, like, if it's just, you're into the occult, and you wonder if it's just, like, some some secret city, some secret place, you know, some other world, you know. Right. Um, you sort of have these musings, but... Uh, you, you don't really know much about it. That's why you want to get into the mystery, you know, to be able to read more of these books. Right. Um, so 11 a.m. arrives. You do not see any paintings brought to the apartment. What would you like to do next? Perhaps we should go to the gallery. It would be open at this time. Yeah, we also might want to have another conversation with Josephine. She might be able okay. to make better sense of all of this. If you trust her, Edwina, I trust your judgment on that. So you head to the gallery, yes? Yes. Okay. So it takes you about 30 minutes to get there. Get there around 11.30. And uh, as you go up, um, one of the staff who's outside sort of like, he's got this like strained look on his face or annoyed look on his face it's like bringing stuff out they're like packing up other things sort of cleaning up and and then he sees vivian he says oh, oh uh, madame <laughs> we're very glad to see you um uh we were about to call you uh dominique is here she uh will not stop playing the piano and uh, it's just, it's getting a little grating. We have not been, um, it's very loud. And uh, I'll have a chat she with you. will not stop. I have some rapport with them. I'll, I'll go speak with them myself. Right. Uh, Cancer, what, do you happen to know what happened to the, to the painting of the dearly departed Antonin? Ah, the man in the bull, it is, uh, I believe we've uh, packaged it up. Um, it's about to be brought to, oh, well, I suppose we cannot bring it to Antonin's. Um, in the case of his demise, I would have to ask, does it belong to uh, this organization? I would have to ask Miss uh, Peledan what she would like to where it should go next. It uh, might just stay well, here. I'm not uh, sure if, until we find out. Let Peladan know I'm interested in acquiring it for my private collection. Uh, absolutely. I'll make a note. Thank you. Uh, feel free. Uh, anything that you all can do, uh, we would appreciate it. We still have a lot to pack. Let, let's go uh, Let's go speak to Dominique. And I'm going to lead everyone inside to go speak with Dominique. I'm assuming we hear piano. To indicate yes. the guitar. The piano is going. It's going. It's nonstop. It's up and down arpeggios and and jumping. Uh, it's loud. but and, and then it changes. And then she, it goes to higher notes. It does like have some quiet moments. And then she, you know, she'll start slamming her hands. Like, no, no, no. <sighs> Dominique. Again. 
What uh, is the cacophony so early in the morning? I, 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 I just, I, I need to get this. And she, um, doesn't really, she like looks over at you, but then she keeps playing. She keeps playing. She is transfixed. Um, you can attempt to yeah. hold her attention in some way. Let me know yeah. how you would. I'm going like to try to intimidate her a little bit. I'm going to carefully just kind of sit uh, next to her on the bench and just kind of like, because I, okay, correct me if I'm wrong. I pay her paycheck, do I not? <laughs> In part. <laughs> Indirectly, heart, perhaps, <laughs> um, perhaps. I'm just gonna sit down Part next of it. to her and uh, say very calmly, Dominique. If you carry on like this, I may be inspired to find us another pianist for our endeavors. <sighs> Not after this. <laughs> uh, roll an intimidate check. I did. Oh, great. Um, sort of turns like, no, 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 no. I, I have this. I'm going to find the universal melody and this will be a oh, great success. You will love it. You will love it. She's still playing and going. She's like, I, I, you know, because all languages, they have a universal base and of course the music it must also have a, a universal melody. Did Bat Sheba tell you about a universal yes. language? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I just look at Edwina and Clovis beautiful. alarmed. Can I go sit on the other side of the piano bench and I want to light a cigarette in my mouth and then putting it into hers because we shared a cigarette last night. So I feel like we have a <laughs> bond there. Uh, sure. I must you tell you, cigarette? my friends, uh, like, this is, uh, you are, I was, was too single minded. But perhaps what if this is what has killed our friend? It's being so deeply enamored of their art. Uh, and then I want to put my hands on her hands, kind of smash down the piano keys. And Do you no, want she like your brain pushes to explode? you over it. Dominic, she pushes you brain. over it. As soon as you try to stop her hands, she like shoves you off the bench. No, no. She keeps playing. I am a weak man. I fall. I'm trying to figure out if we should restrain her. I look at Edwina questioningly like, Do you have any expertise on this? Do we just let her Can carry you? on like this? Do I you hear it? Do you hear it? <laughs> um <laughs> all right i'm gonna, it's, I'm gonna... It's off it's not right i'm trying to get him i know i'm close. dominique I'm close. dominique dominique i hear it too oui? Oui? dominique oh. listen look at me sit down i hear it too dominique i think i think we have to go slowly go oh. slowly to find it go slowly and breathe oui. What exactly did Bathsheba say to you? Uh, give me a charm. Give me a charm roll. 58 under 70. Uh, she just, she told me. She just, she's not much, you know. I, just about the language, the bass, this universal melody that I would find and I, it's just overcoming. She's right and I don't know how I did not think of it before. Uh, do you, if, if you help, can you find it? She just keeps I'm playing. at a loss, Liv. She's calmer, but I'm at a loss. Either of you, uh, anything? I think, we, I think we must stop her for her own health. Yeah, I think we should call. And she kind of like, she find, like stops and she like sits down and and sort of you know grabs the seat and then falls down on the floor like I must she's like still reaching for the piano keys. I must find it. Oh god. I must uh, find it. Is there oh. anything to tie her hands behind her back with? Um yeah, there's yeah, there's like maybe rope stuff. For, yeah, the so boxes. There's, yeah, there's some ropes, strings, there's various like ropes and things if you would like to find that. I'm just going to very gently, if she's kind of, you know, just exhausted. She's tapped out. You can tell, like, yeah, she's still trying, but she is, like, drained. She I hesitantly tie her hands behind her back. Uh, no, no. Or maybe in front of her, because... Uh, so I'm going to call a doctor. Mm -hmm. I think she needs to be sedated. 
Okay. Oh, no, I was going to say, I don't think idea. there is a cure here uh, that a uh, doctor would have. Rest. All right. I think she's going to exhaust herself, hurt herself in some way. No, let me pray. Let me pray. I'm going to call the gentleman that was working in the front of the gallery uh, now mm -hmm. that the music has stopped and be yeah, like, exactly. we need a doctor. Oh, I mean, you got it to stop. Or no, we need oh. a physician. She's ill. Very ill. I think she's just been going on that. She, I didn't she's... ask. I told. Uh, Get me yes, a Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Thank madam. you. He, he goes off to call uh, a doctor. My lord. <laughs> I want to look around. Is there anyone else here? Just the staff, just like packing things up and sort of like looking over like, oh, yikes. How long has she been going? Are so rude. I get that it was annoying, but clearly this girl needs some help. You're asking some of the staff this, Edwina? Yeah. How, how long did they go? How long has she been here? She was uh, here when we arrived and <laughs> she's been going... Since we came in, I mean, the door was unlocked when we arrived, but she has the keys. She's part of the... Order. You mean she's been here all night? I can only presume, based off how she looks now, but thank you for getting her to stop. It was uh, hard to think. Dominique, I must ask you, where can we find Bathsheba? Do you know? I, I don't know. I don't know. You do know. You must know something. Where was she found? Uh, uh, how did she come here? What? I do not... She's the wife of La Roche. She when just keeps she playing. Speak you? When did she speak to you? When did she implant this idea of a universal melody in your mind? <sighs> the, the, the party. The party. The party. And the doctor arrives about 30 minutes later. Um, he says, uh, what's the problem? Uh, hello? She's hysterical. So, uh, She's got oh, the she... feminine vapors of some sort. I don't know. She may need to be, uh, given some type of nerve tonic. I don't know. And he like stops, opium, he, perhaps? He tries to get her to stop playing when she, like, resists and he sees how exhausted. She's like, ah, I, I see, I see. And he calls and says, we will uh, take her to uh, L'Hopital, don't worry. And he does like sort of take out a and sort of injects a sedative into her veins like, shh, shh it's okay. Uh, thank you for calling. Doctor, please don't let her play piano, even if there's one in Le Hospital. No, it's okay. We will keep her restrained if she uh, puts up a fight if anyway, but hopefully it's just exhaustion. Sometimes this can make you do... Uh, Unusual behavior. It's nothing we've not seen before with these artist types, you know. They stay up all night. They don't, uh, they forget to sleep. They forget to eat. You know, we take them in. They, they heal up. They get some rest and everything is fine. How, you saying there are others like this? Very recently? In this extreme manner? I mean, it's not that often, but it's not unusual, no? I don't think it's the same. Well, okay. Just keep an eye on her for us, please. Yes, I'm a doctor. I'm going to take her. Can you let us also know, like, which hospital she'll be at so we can come look on, in on her if we need to? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, please keep me apprised of her condition. I'm staying at the Paris Plus Hotel. Just <laughs> call the front desk and ask for Mrs. Hainault, and they'll, uh... You can call the Hôpital Saint-Marie, uh, but I do not... Get... Are you uh, first of kin? Are you are you related to Miss Dominique? Or I... Ah, yes, I'm her aunt from uh, over the seas. Okay, Coming well, in, I, in honor. I will make a note for the nurses to call you at some point. Thank you. Okay. Viva, Edwina, I cannot help out. but feel that we are losing precious time. Perhaps it is Josephine we need to find. We might as well. At least we know that she'll be home, right? I well, thought I she would be here. That was part of why I was like, maybe we should come here as Josephine. If she is well, not arrested. Well, we let's... Um, but, but her home is only like a block from here. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's, right it's, the it's walking yeah, distance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 
Are you uh, heading to Josephine's? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. The only other address we have is um, La Roche, but it's like outside of Paris, which makes me think yeah. it's too far. Okay, so, so you go to yeah, let's go to Josephine's. Yeah. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. You head over, and Kofi is, uh, you know, greets you. And says, oh, uh, bonjour. Uh, uh, Clovis, we need to uh, talk to we... Josephine. Ah, uh, she's upstairs, but uh, we've had a phone call looking, uh, uh, trying to get in touch with uh, um, uh, Edwin, Miss Alexander, or, or Mr. Albert, uh, uh, Maximilian, uh, at the, he's in the, the jail at the moment, but he will not stop calling, trying to get in contact with you all. With us? Yes, I don't know. Did he speak to one of you? He seemed very adamant. I assumed that you knew each other. Well, Only acquaintances. Edwina, do you know why? I don't. I, be, I, I, I veered left when you talked to him. You're welcome to uh, use the telephone if you would like. Otherwise, uh, Josephine is uh, upstairs. I will uh, go see if she's accepting visitors. Uh, one moment. And he and walks, walks away. away uh, yeah, I immediately turn to these guys and go, what if we had this all wrong? What if Maximilian was set up somehow? Remember that I saw LaRoche return that book to the library. He patted his pocket when he was with Bathsheba saying that he had to return something. And I saw him return that book to the library. So I don't understand how they could make it look like Maximilian had taken it. I, I, he was downstairs with the rest of us the entire time. And it was Amy whose clothing it was found in. How strange all of this is. I think I should return the call of Maximilian. I think that's a good idea. And perhaps I'll talk to Josephine since I know her a bit better. And, and, and Viv, of course, since she knows you. Excellent. Um, so there, uh, uh, Kofi left a little a piece of paper. You see that it's got the number as well. So, Clovis, you call. I dial. So we'll do that first. Um, you dial, you, you go through to the gendarmerie, who are like, ah, wait, 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 uh, one moment. And they connect you through, they get Maximilien to come to the phone. They Clovis. just let you answer here? I, I, it's very nice how they let you take calls anytime. No, 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 I, 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 you guys have been trying to call just anyone, like, I, I, I can't stop. Maximilian, what is happening? I can't stop happening? writing, Clovis, I can't stop writing, and, and, and it's not like me, it's not, it's, I, I could, I know that it's, it's, it's Josephine, I'm telling you, it's Josephine, she, she did something, they, they do mystic rites, they, she's trying to corrupt my talent, you have to get her to, to reverse it, Clovis, you have to get her to reverse Maximilian, it. Maximilian, this does not make sense. I did not meet Josephine until later in the night, but I too I, was divinely inspired. It was Bathsheba. I, 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 I no, I don't, I just, no. I, it's got to be, I've, I've wanted to be part of this. She does these rites, it's, tell her to reverse it, tell her to reverse it. It was her right, then. It's You're Josephine. sure of it? It's Josephine. It's just... Uh, it's, what do I, I, I do? How put, does she... You must, you must tell Josephine that she must reverse it. I cannot stop. I cannot stop my hands. They hurt. They hurt, Clovis. Okay. They hurt. Ask another prisoner to chop I, off your fingers. What? I... You could not write. Help. Better uh, than your brain exploding I, out your head. And the call, like, hangs up. I hope he cut off his fingers. I um, mean, he could just break his hands instead of... <laughs> <laughs> perhaps a little bit more extreme than perhaps me. I cut him off. Anyway. He might I really appreciate a future point in time. As you head upstairs, um, so the, scene that, upstairs. the scene that you come in on, and Clovis, you'll join like maybe, you know. Right, I'm hanging like back just as a couple the minutes. Happens. Yeah, a couple minutes after. So it's not long after, but um, Josephine, uh, Amy is in the room with Josephine in the library. After Kofi said, like, uh, Josephine, you can, said you can come up. Um, and Josephine's trying to, like, 
stop Amy, who is whose paper is everywhere oh, and no. is like clawing at her. She says, Amy, Amy, yes, it's, stop, so, Ali, stop this, stop this. And, and anytime she does, uh, Amy starts clawing at her, saying, no, 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 just let me write, let me write. Oh, Josephine. How long is how, how, oh. what's going on here? Come in, come in. I do she comes over to you and she's like, I don't know. She's just been like this. She stayed the night she was shaken that she was in one of my guest rooms and I I just I found her. She's just been I've been looking through through the books, but she is she cannot she she will not stop. I do I don't know. I Josephine What happened the other night at the rites? What kind of rites did you do? Was it an evocation? Was it a, was it some kind of summoning? What was it? I was, it was just, I was just uh, uh, consulting with the, the, I was just trying to look into our, our futures a little. I, and, and just, I was just trying to see if it would be a success. It's all. And did you see Bathsheba anywhere in your visions? No. Ola Roche. No. What's happening to Amy has happened to several of our friends, including Antonin, before he passed away. What? They're, they're, they're being seized by some kind of a, a, a passion, some kind of an obsession. And I'm afraid that Bathsheba has something to do with it. No. I, this sounds... Uh, let me... She goes like straight to her books and Amy's just like like writing away and just like just like page after don't page. mind me attempting to help uh yes uh i i know i'm the, not an expert in this type of thing and i know you have very strict rules about who is allowed the use of your books but i feel like at this point we have to get all hands on deck or lives may be lost no 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 i i i've read this somewhere and she she's looking and then it's like uh one moment and she runs downstairs and is back like within a minute and she has the evocation de Dieu intérieur she's like I, hold on I know I have I have read something of this the the the, the inspiration that the, the the art the what do you all do when she runs downstairs and Clovis you all have joined at this point like maybe when she's comes back up, you know, goes down, you see her go down into the lobby, pick up the book that she had left just on the table in the lobby and bring it back up. Just, ah, wow. uh, Clovis, hello. Hello. Uh, oh, uh, as soon as I see Amy, I just want to like pounce onto the table and just flop my whole body over her writing so she can't write anymore. She I starts clawing and screaming at you. I can uh, take it. Hit her on I the back of the it. head with the butt of my handgun. You're gonna try and knock her out. I am, yeah. Especially okay. if she starts attacking Clovis. Like I got, you know. This, I, oh, I, you want it? It will not move me. Okay. Do, do a. Um, <laughs> That's so dramatic. <laughs> I don't, do you have a? Do you have uh, a damage? Do uh, a brawl. Yeah, Can probably. Say brawl check here. Brawl check. All right. Everything's a brawl. Oh, I have proficiency in handgun, but not brawl. Let's see. <laughs> it's not shooting oh! the gun. Hey! <laughs> I got a six. Nice. With that, yes! I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that you are able to knock her out for the time being. And she just like, falls straight into a pile of papers. Sorry. <clears throat> it's almost like a pillow. So many papers in one pile, yes? And well Josephine done. is like flipping through the pages and she's like, <gasps> Yes, yes, yes. The ritualist works on the vessel. Uh, uh, the the it, and and it's the, it's this uh, channeling god. Is this a uh, channeling god? This is what you cast yesterday. No, 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 not me. No, I did not cast it. No, I was, I was, I was consulting uh, 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 with the ethos of the what divine. Does, ah, this what, was the what is the channel? Yes, channeling God. Who's channeling God, and and through whom, and for why? Who are they doing? It's what? just to create a, a, a beautiful art piece. It, it, it's, it's an attempt to to reach the the 
uh, beatific vision. That's what we are trying to do. And, and I, how does one do this? I. Uh, uh, you I, mean like how Antonin painted the walls? I don't want to reach that vision. No, I. It's a like, I wonder if the oh, rush must have must have. He was the last one who, who, had, who had the book. I wonder if he achieved what he was trying to create. How do we what? find Lavroche? Uh, he's uh, at his home in Toiry. Can I? Oh, that's too far. Can I take? I, well, I'm going to ask, but I'm also not going to ask. I'm just kind of snap the book out of her hand. What? <laughs> and read Vian. it. She is not <laughs> answering my questions. I'm reading it. <laughs> uh oh. What are you read? It's like 300 pages. What are you reading? No, the page this she had open about this inspiration demon. Ooh, maybe mm. try and learn the spell. Um, it's it will take you six hours if you want to learn the spell, um, but you can. Um, the it says first the ritualist needs to create a ritual space, then begins working upon creating a vessel for the power they're calling upon. The vessel can take any form: a painting, a piece of writing, a musical composition. Um, you must chant whilst working upon this creation and uh, uh, spend some of your inner magic and uh, make a... Uh, you must make your most extreme of, of talent in this work in order to get this high enough quality for this right. Hmm. Oh, this, this is what Bathsheba did to us. And if she's confused, the vessel it will will be one with God and channel God. Itself. So do you think? Do you? Th can the, I'm confused. Is, is the vessel Bathsheba, and she is the vessel is the art. The vessel is the art. Bathsheba, uh, no, the, uh, uh, no the, she's the be, only common denominator here. But this would be be a piece of art. A, 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 I, I do not know. I, I mean, I've never seen this. I, I, I Could it I be his sculpture? Could he have finished it? Could it be at his house? Perhaps. And Kofi um, knocks at the door. He says, uh, Madame, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, it's a telephone. The hospital. Uh, Justine is, is, is in hospital. Justine is and we'll take a break right now before oh. you find out more how did that uh, time go by so fast i know yeah oh my gosh <laughs> it's, it's going and it um, sure is becca do you want to say oh everybody make sure you use the discount code Calix 2021 we'll see you in 10 minutes <laughs>
<laughs> just kidding. Um, I'm not possessed by an elder god or anything like that, but you can be if you go to chaosium.com and you type in offer code KALIX2021 at checkout, you'll get 10% off everything on the Chaosium store. If you don't know, that's who publishes Call of Cthulhu, where you'll find this wonderful scenario we're playing tonight in Nameless Horrors. And if you watch any of the previous episodes of the Calyx, everything I've ever done is a pre-written scenario from something published by Chaosium. So check it out. They make awesome stuff and we appreciate them supporting the show. And with that, back to Josephine McAdam playing another Josephine. <laughs> Oui, oui. Um, <laughs> wonderful. We left off right as Josephine was going to step back to go take the phone call because Justine is supposedly in the hospital. Do you all stay up That's here? Cool. Amy is Amy has been knocked out by Vivian. Right. I think we all can assume the reason why our friend Justine is also in the hospital. Yes, I think that's pretty safe to assume. Uh, I was thinking something. No, please tell me. There must be something. What is the connection? What could it be? This book. Amy starts to stir. She's like, ugh. Oh dear. Do we not throw out again? again? If we both had the same idea, it cannot be a bad idea, yes? She starts, like, I mean, writing again. Oh, gosh. I will tr- try and tie her hands up with... Maybe I'll take um, the, the tie on the nice curtains. And she is going to try to claw at you. It's nothing we, that has we, not happened to Clovis before. Can we help? Can we assist? She can't get you anyway. So she's, she's like kind of wildly like, stop, stop, stop. I'm just oh, trying petite. to oh, just petite. let me get this. Shh, shh, shh. I know, I know. I do want to paint. Oh, when we see Clovis being this sweet, it's almost like it's the first time he's not creepy. And it's so sweet. I, I would he, paint uh, your beautiful curves, my dear, but only if you so were you're trying to... And he's creepy again. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to tie up her hands? Yes. Or what do you with the curtain tie? Okay. Uh, do, do a brawl check for me. Ooh, that's a big old fail. Okay. Yeah, you can't quite like she's like you know she's very she's like, strong. Stop, stop. She like d- grabs her papers and she like goes to to walk out the other door to the library to where the guest room that she's staying in is. She's like stop, stop, stop it, and like walks away and closes the door behind her. Do we have time to prevent everyone from killing themselves with their brains? Josephine comes back up. uh, Justine was was, has been hit by a carriage in the street. What? Um, She's she's in the hospital. uh, Was she uh, dancing? uh, uh, I, I... I didn't ask. I, I think they said that she just walked right into the, the street. Though I, I, they, I did not ask. Uh, um, you think she could have been? I, they, they just told me that she was there and and had mentioned my name and and they knew she was here last. And she's she's okay. She's not. She, she's just in the hospital. Josephine. <sighs> All of us. Uh, this sounds, uh, it's crazy, but so is everything that's happened in this last 24 hours. Do you know the story of Pygmalion and Galatea? The sculptor whose art came to life. What is this? It's an ancient Greek myth. Uh, the story was that the, the artist put so much of himself and so much love into this, this sculpture that it actually came to life. And when you were reading to us about the ritual, what if the vessel is La Roche's vessel, Bathsheba? What if she is his work of art? It seems possible. And what if that... I don't know. Is it possible? Is it possible in these... In these... She is in these too beautiful. It didn't make sense. Okay. I know. 
only in in stories, like you say. I I and and I suppose that perhaps, but she did not look like. But not just in stories. Look at this book. Yes, I mean, yes, yes. written down here as clear as day, is it not? Which read it one more time. Solid. Yeah, can I read it out loud? And can I also read the next page to see if there's more information that Joe <laughs> didn't say? <laughs> because what um, happens when 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 you channel God into your art? What happens? Yeah, it says that they do a ritual, they they work on their art, they have to do extremely high quality to succeed, otherwise they will have to start over again. Um, they, that, and if they are successful, the vessel uh, successfully channels God and uh, thus uh, becomes uh, inspiring to all who see it in this beatific vision. And there it is. Inspiring to all. Inspiring to all in a beatific vision. Except is that is no, that... the vessel is the one who makes the art. I don't think it no, is the No, the same. vessel is the, the art. The vessel is the art. The vessel it is me. the art. I could have been, I could have seen God, but I failed. Maybe I should paint again. Well, no, because no. as evidenced by... Uh, listen, if, if LaRoche was successfully able to do this, I mean, <gasps> his creation was a minotaur. Now, G Edwina, you are a well-learned woman. The Minotaur is not exactly the hero of the story. What if it wasn't the Minotaur that he was creating at the time that brought him to that? Perhaps it was another sculpture of a woman. Perhaps it was another... Artists work <gasps> on multiple pieces at a time. If you are a phoenix and you were born from the ashes, could you perhaps have been born from a man whose brains burst from his head? I think uh, each individual has the potential to reach God. Bathsheba is only one such instance of La Roche reaching God. I don't know how I did this. I am not a smart man. But we don't know what type of God you're going to create if you continue on with your mania, Clovis. And we don't know, yes. Clovis. Look, we, we have faith in you and we have belief in you and we've seen your talent. But we've also seen what's happened to people who kept trying and kept trying and kept trying and drove themselves to exhaustion. Should um go speak with 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 Laroche. Maybe he knows more. La I, mean, I I I, I don't know like to think Laroche that doesn't live here. But does he have a workshop that he works out of here? Some place where he. I think we must go to his home, even though it is at one town away. I know he was going. He, he was going back to his his is where he does all of his work. Is in Tuari. He has a Tuari. home there. Well, then we'll have to go. Uh, I cannot think that this is something that Pierre would do. I mean, he's he's constantly maybe working not on intentionally, things, but... but he did have this book in his pocket, Josephine, and he did take it from the library, which is very much against the rules. So I will tell you, I will snitch about that. He had it in his pocket when we came in. But what of Maximilian? As well, I believe Maximilian was. He does not trust up. you, um, but uh, I do, and so this is why I tell you this. When I had a phone call in in the prison, he he says not to trust you, Josephine. Why would he say that? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know why he would say that. Perhaps because he is, but he was trying to take. Perhaps in your rituals, you book. you wanted so badly for your salon trying, to succeed. He was trying to frame Amy. Amy, who's where is she? I, oh, she is writing her hands to death in the next room. Or was it Amy was, that tried to frame him? Nobody's that simple. But when I did smack her on the back of the head, it did make a hollow sound. I must admit. <laughs> Maximilian said on the phone when Clovis spoke with him that we needed to ask you to reverse the spell, reverse the spell, reverse the spell. Perhaps it wasn't you, That's right. but someone needs to reverse it. I, I did not. I swear to you, I did not. I would never do this. Show us the steps of the ritual we, you did. And this way, perhaps, we can step backwards through them, like, step backwards. 
that or I if there did. is a somewhere in the if in the book there is a reverse ritual that we can do. I I I will look through the book. If you want to speak with La Roche, I will spend some time looking through and see it's if I find anything. It's not murder if it's a statue. That's Are you holding your gun? Yeah. That, she's uh, got a finger gun. She's not afraid to use it. <laughs> I want to uh, kind of like give a signal to Vivian that I think she should point the gun at Josephine. <laughs> Vivian? Um, can I... Can, can, while you guys are doing that, can I do a psychology check just to see I just what I think? To Im- intimidate her and make sure, Josephine, um, you she's... promise there's nothing you're not telling us. Hey, what? Are you pointing the gun at her? No, it's in the air. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. I don't Vivian want her. Is to not afraid to me. shoot. What? <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I, what is this, jo- Joseph- Josephine? We must know. <laughs> can you be trusted? Why would I oh, have, uh, why, I, all I want is for this to be a success. Why would I want any of this at my, at my salon, at the, at the, in my own home? I, uh, please, I, I will look through this, the books and, and, and see what I can find. She seems okay. Let's go speak, let's go speak to LaRoche. Yeah, the gun, the gun is for the Minotaur, not for you, Josephine. I hope we're clear on that. All right, bye. This the- yes. <laughs> we peace out. <laughs> Is the French expression? Yeah, yeah, it's well known. Uh, can we uh, can we take a carriage? Uh, how, how do we get there? I imagine um, Josephine has many outside that we could just you know borrow. Yes. You could take a carriage. Take you a while. Or how about a, could, is there a train? Or coffee says uh, the the train station uh, should take you to. Uh, Bain Station, which is just a few miles outside of Tuarie. Uh, All right, let's go. I'll go and I'll get us in a first-class uh, compartment. Ooh, thanks, Viv. I have never Make before. Make your way to the train station. Style. The next train to Bain is at 5 p.m. The train to Bain. Can we try it? <laughs> Can I, we try and uh, convince the conductor to make it leave earlier? <laughs> the conductor on the train that's not arrived yet? Here yet? Because, because train what train. time is it? <laughs> it's uh, 4 p.m. It's 4 p.m. Okay, not too much. Perhaps not too much time. while we wait, what if I just paint a little bit? No, and if I, I find God, what no. if I find God and then you could, you and know? Then, and then you'll make us crazy. No, 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 no. You will pull me back if I if I am crazy. Lopez. Yes? We need you at the most fac we need you to have the most control of your faculties as physically possible. Oh, you well, start then painting. Get me perhaps a snifter of brandy. <laughs> that I can well, I can agree with. We can go by the absent house and get you something to drink, but yeah. I Is don't there think like a any bar of us at the train station? Writing. Yeah. Oh, oh, we should have a drink. Okay, so you guys have a drink as you wait. At uh, five p.m. comes along, you take the train to Bain. Train to Bain. And when you arrive at the station, uh, you are. Does about... the rain on the train to Bain fall mainly on the train to Bain? Yes. When you talk about Pygmalion, <laughs> it sure does. Exactly, it's a theme now. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, I assume that you take a carriage from the station. Yes, from the over station exactly. The rushes. Probably like we have to inspect the horses for the finest horses for Vivian's sake, I imagine. Oh, like the nicest no. carriage. Yeah, it's not. I'm not that. You got that handled. Yeah, I just lack for thing. You know, after the whole uh, hotel room call out, I've decided to lay <laughs> low. Sp- you know, spread some of the love with Edwina and Clovis. Really, I didn't realize it's it was very her- kind of you. Yeah. Prior to that, I would have just gotten a normal carriage, but... Mm-hmm. Hey, before we uh, just step into LaRoche's home slash studio slash lair, should we infer about what exactly we're going to talk to him about? We gotta separate him from Bathsheba, first of all, from her beguiling influence. Clovis, I think you're best suited to that since you grovel at her every word. 
is perhaps true. I don't know if it makes me better suited, but I will try. I mean, she if seems to be is... into it. She was on your arm that whole evening. The, yes, uh, it is true. I mean, I must admit, I am very suave. But maybe it was I who was on her. Uh, also, there is the possibility I am not uh, light-footed, but if someone is, perhaps, then um, not revealing their appearance right away. Perhaps someone knocks on the door, others ah. arrive through a back door or a window all right edwina you try to approach through a back door i will knock on the front door and my finest regalia i'm wearing another channel suit (laughs) actually no this one's salvatore ferragamo did you stop by the hotel yeah definitely i would have dressed up and i will be here and make a big show of trying to commission a piece from him and given a fantastic my idea. reputation, he'll he'll take it seriously. He'll know I can back it up. Right. Okay. After all the time yeah. that I've spent in the drawing rooms of London, I've definitely learned to sneak around a bit or two. So uh, I have got you both. All right. Clovis, we'll go in through the front. Your goal is to separate Bathsheba from the little squirrely man as quickly as you can. Okay. And Edwina, you have a snoop around. I'm going to try to get uh, LaRoche to take me to his workspace so I can look at some of his art. And as soon as you feel like you've gotten a good look around, just pretend to knock on the door and come in and join us. That's a fantastic idea. Perfect. Well done, Viv. The plan is set. All have a... Smart women and also so beautiful and strong. Plan that you go over. (laughs) I had to make it creepy a little bit. Oh, my God. Well, on the way, so <laughs> on the way, you, you arrive um, to the grounds um, where the person driving the carriage says oh, it's just through uh, this trail. And uh, Toiry is a small town northwest of Versailles. By the way, it's surrounded by woodlands and lakes. Um, the Rush's home is a large cabin in the woods that's at the end of the dirt track, besides a very picturesque lake. So you get out of the carriage and you're at the end of the start track and you start to make your way in. I would like you all to do a spot hidden. Check, please. Ooh. 27 under 45. Yeah, I also succeeded on a 33. A success. How many of them were hard successes or better? Would you I can get spin. Uh, what, what qualifies a hard success? Half. It is half. 27 is not half. 27 is a little over half. Mm. Let's oh, see. Yeah, you I can use your luck points to, to get... You, oh. you will, Clovis? I'll spend eight. Yeah. Okay. So uh, perhaps Clovis yes, and then points I, it out yeah. as, as he is looking at the surface of the otherwise calm lake. It seems to be bulging in the center as if something large is moving up and down under the surface. Let me just sort of nudge Vivian... Vivian, I am no geologist or expert in the sciences, but should a lake lift in the middle? That is unnatural by every... I hope we don't die out here in this strange cabin in the woods. Do I see anything else besides just a bulging? No, uh, you just see that it's like it's normally a calm lake, and you just see that there's this like movement. Something is like moving up and down. Is it a ripple it. or like um, the back of a behemoth of some sort? Maybe a rock. More seems like the la- seems more like the ladder and less like a ripple from the top. Seems like something's underneath. Um, you also see that ahead of you, the cabin, the door to the cabin is ajar. I'm just going to run in. The plan is off the wheels now. I'm... Okay, so you run in. Your weapon? <laughs> yeah. You run in and you hear a little... Guns out, by and... the way. <laughs> and all of a sudden, uh, there is a door to your left that opens and the rush walks in. He's got a chisel in one hand and stone dust on his apron. He's like, Whoa! What is this? I forgot how weird he was. What are you doing here? Oh, 
Sorry, LaRoche. I came here to commission a piece from you, and I yeah, saw something in the lake. I saw the door open, and I I just, I was frightened. I thought maybe someone Wait. had broken into your home. Why is your gun? Oh, oh, oh. Well, you Please. know, Americans love our guns. I, I'm sorry. That's just my yeah, natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. I apologize. Uh, it was just here to from, from outside, as we're hearing everything's okay, I split off and sneak around to the side of the house. Oh, uh, come on in, Clovis. LaRoche is in. He's okay. not uh, being La Roche. Um, Hello, my friends. It, I mean, it doesn't take long for you to see. It's just a small cabin. It's like a workshop. There's not really another, like a back door. Entrance? Necessarily. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, is as you come she, in, can we see Bathsheba or like a space that w we can see the entire space? <laughs> no, you guys just walked in. You are in the lounge area. He walks through a door to the left and um, he says, uh, Well, if you are all here, uh, come, come, let me show I'm you uh, what I've been working on. And as I, since Maybe. I circled so quickly, since I circled so quickly, I just kind of knocked and followed up. I have just okay. paid the carriage. Ah. Yeah. The door is open. Oh, welcome, Edwina. Um, and he yells up the stairs and says, uh, Bathsheba, we, 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 have, we have guests, we have guests. Uh, he says, come, come, come. And he leads you to a door on the right where uh, his work space um, it is a studio that has been largely cleared. It's got a long glass frontage that overlooks the lake that you all saw. Um, uh, you'll see a... <laughs> there is a sculpture in the middle of this studio of a minotaur made of solid marble. However, it's not still. It has movement, but it is of of absolute marble. It is it is like a sculpture, a living sculpture, and I need everyone to do a sanity. <sighs> a real Scooby Doo kind of jaw moving. Ho oh, ho! I succeed. 46. Okay. Six. Where is sanity? I think you had 60 to see. start. It's um got a little or Okay, I had to, okay, yeah, few. I'm 46, 46. Okay, but I'm 46 under 59. Right. Okay, so everyone oh, who succeeded too. loses Same one loses one sanity. Hello. Okay, everyone who succeeded. Roche. Your marble no one failed, is right? alive. Yeah. No, no, no. I didn't fail. I just accidentally clicked yeah, it a yeah, second. Yeah, I saw your first one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and at that moment Bathsheba descends the staircases, a staircase and comes in behind and she is she does not look like when you first saw her she is likewise completely marble and the rest is this this is what I've been working on my greatest creation it's not beautiful I was try, I was going to show the world this but I don't know if they were ready no. Edwina, you are a very smart woman. I've worked on it. in life. But this is what I, I, I made this for, for the salon, for Josephine. You know, we finally, we reached this, the beatific, the vision. <laughs> La Roche, you are do you insane. know what? Do you know what's been happening? What? Do you know what's been happening to people who talk to your Galatea? I don't know what you're speaking of. Antonin, his death is on her, and therefore on you. You should see. No, 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 no. No, no. They were inspired. They should have. They should have created. They should have made. They, you, everyone should be making this. They were touched by God, and they have not created. You mean it is unfortunate. I want to immediately look for paint. <laughs> sure, yeah, there's totally paint here. Says, yes, yes, Clovis, join me, yes. Yeah, yeah, it even saying, like gets you an easel. Are you saying that our friend, his head exploded because he did not use his gift? I don't know, I can only imagine. 
his, 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 I, it was not for him. He what dark see. magics did you wield to channel such divinity? No, no darkness. Everyone thinks it's darkness. No darkness. I simply, I simply uh, created this. Uh, comes from within. We all have it within you, us. I am scared for you my life, so the I'm going to start painting birth scenes. You know, it's going to be... Start painting? Uh, I just... It's okay. going to be, you know, the female form and uh, figures coming out of other bodies and, and blood everywhere and uh, placenta and umbilical cords galore. All of them. Oh, God. And we just call it... Uh, I just call it Clovis. Clovis, no. I am scared, Edwina. If I do not... Will I end up like a friend with my brain splattered everywhere? Clovis, uh, give me an art roll. You use your painting, whatever you're doing. Yeah. It's a two, uh, an extreme success, almost a critical success. Yeah, okay. So you're painting and painting. Uh, well, as long as you're uninterrupted, because you will need to devote, like, this will take you four hours. <laughs> so it depends what Edwina and Vivienne want to do. It really depends on them, because I'm I just want to yell working. at, I just want to yell at the, because I'm useless. What? Yelling at the, I'm going to start yelling at the Galatea statue, at, 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 at Bathsheba. Like, at Bathsheba? You, and, and, yeah. uh, La Roche is like already like he sees Clovis where he's like, yeah and he like grabs like a, a stump of wood that is in the corner and also starts like you know working away next to Clovis. So you speak to There's Bathsheba. There's an energy of artistic yeah. energy yeah. and aura that we're providing in the room. You know. Hey. He was working on marble, right? So I'm assuming there's some type of hammer here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, from my understanding, would I glean that if these vessels were not perfect, that the divinity would mayhaps leave them? You can give me an occult check to glean that. Can I give you an occult check, too? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? You have you... four out of five? <laughs> wow. Okay. So you you kind of glance at the book. You do not think that it's like they once they are done that that you know just just marring their surface like that would make them too weak. You know. Uh, so you don't think that it's as simple as that. Mm. Still have a mind going on? face the Minotaur. Or Bathsheba, or both. I have it in my mind, but I will, I will just pocket if I can, a mallet. You're a okay. Give me a sleight of hand. Um, <laughs> it's just gonna be Bathsheba because oh. Pierre uh, the Rush is working as well. He's like inspired. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just grab it. I mean, she'll see me do it. Oh, okay. You too will try to create something. I'm a bit of a sculptor myself. As that's I'm just so. gonna back away from her as fast as I just backing, backing away, backing away because I remember what she did to me before. Ah, uh, Edwina. No, 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 you succubus, you stay away from me. Uh, What's going on in that lake? The lake? Another one of our dear artist's work lies below. We were not sure the world was ready, but I don't know. Perhaps it is time, Clovis. Perhaps you're showing us it is time for Clovis. All to see. How many hours you have passed? Stop. <laughs> I'm not listening to anyone or anything. I'm just um, painting the viscera. Honestly, Edwina, I'm about to go very. America on everybody's <laughs> ass right now. Yeah, it depends. Vivienne I'm, and Edwina, in in the four hours that pass, are you going to leave? Are you going to attack? Are you going to? I. What are you? As are soon you as I see Bathsheba talking again, and I remember what she started doing mm -hmm. to scramble my brains, I start 
freaking out and backing la, away, la, la. like I'll run out of the house. Yeah, exactly. Okay. La, 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 la. <laughs> okay. I am not listening to Jeffrey, end. but he is still talking. I'm g- I'm Tell gonna me sh- more about your sculpture work, Vivian. Please. I'd be happy to. <laughs> <I'm scared laughs> to <humor. laughs> In the face. I can mold marble with my gun. <laughs> I actually do have 40 sculpture, but I'm going to sculpt this bitch's face up. <laughs> okay. So you've got a minotaur that rears its head. You've got Bathsheba who's like shocked and angrily like brings her arms up. You hear a coming down the stairs. What the I thought that was the sculpting. Yeah. I thought that was the sculpting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, great. So you're gonna try. I'm gonna give you a shot. Because, um, let me just check something. Let's see. Being made of solid marble. Do I have? I would have had better <laughs> luck with the hammer. I would have had much better luck with the hammer. <laughs> May haps. <laughs> May want to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that's a nice headband. Well, no, I mean a gun is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Um, roll your firearms. Roll. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah? Oh, nice. Yes, yeah, so you hit... Let's, uh, what's the damage on that? Oh, I don't know. I don't have that written down. Oh, uh, uh I got is you. Is it not next to your weapon? Let me see. I didn't, my, do, my do, possession do, do, do. Oh, no, it doesn't. out on this. Do we do you, know? Does this, oh, uh, what kind of weapon do you want to have? It's probably a 1d6 plus one or a 1d8 plus one. It's on the back of the keeper guide. Let me grab mine. It is, okay. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, been a long four hours. It's like, <laughs> my God. Where? Can we just run in Where? circles around the house, away, oh, run, run away from the, run Page away from the that sheep and the minotaur, like just run circles around the house. Okay, <laughs> so, um. Yes, I assume that. Well, actually, let's give you the. Where is the damage though? That's a knife. That's a. If it's like a. If it's a tiny revolver, it's a one d six, and a thirty two is a one d eight. Um, I'll give you one d eight because you're American. Okay. Do it. All um, right. All of these are nineteen twenties, but that's okay. Oh yeah, that's true. Earlier, um, I don't have the, Do the one gaslight book. Oh yeah, yep. close enough. It's a gun. All right. You just roll an eight. Yeah, I because ro- you said one d eight plus uh, one, right? No, no, just one d eight. Oh, but so that's seven. fine. I'll do so seven. Yeah. Okay, you chip away at uh, Bathsheba, who like screams out in pain and says, "Stop her!" And now, uh, Clovis, are you going to stop painting, or are you going to continue while this happens behind you? Vivian, I I'm not sure if that's the answer. Perhaps we need to destroy her by. There I'm is the, the Leviathan. Oh, I, no, no, combat is like combat okay. is happening. Uh, I'm maybe, just wondering if I'm asking you for your decks or not. I think that. Uh, oh gosh, I'm gonna die either way because uh, <laughs> I, I don't have any skill. But you know what? Um, once I hear Vivian fire a shot, I snap out of it. Uh, unless rolling an extreme success on my painting, like put me under some sort of trance, I'm gonna realize my friend's in trouble. Whatever plan I had trying to induct the divine is not going to work. No trance, you do want to do the painting, but no trance. Um, yeah, it will be unfinished <sighs> if you stop before the four hours. For <sighs> I look up, 
I see Vivian. I'm fighting against myself to help her, but my painting, it's so beautiful. You can always and continue it's almost it finished. after. I would still give you the extreme success if you want to continue okay, great. it later, should you then, survive. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Then let me um then let me pretend that I'm still painting as I but, will pick up a chisel. And and let me tell you that all the Minotaur and Bathsheba and this Lush. tiny wooden unicorn that shows up in the door having trotted down from <laughs> from <laughs> upstairs. It's like it's like two feet tall. Um watch out pops for that its unicorn. Head in and they're all staring at Vivienne, you know, like they, no one's okay. going after you as of right now. Well, obviously anyway, I'm painting so with get... my left hand. I grab, uh, I, I'm aware of the situation and I grab a chisel with my right hand because I don't have any other weapon. Okay. So I see Viv has 60 dex, Edwina's 70, uh, Clovis has 80. So technically, um, okay, let's see. And Bathsheba, ah, Bathsheba's faster. So is the Minotaur. Mm. Faster than 80? That's intense. Yeah, 85, 85. Ooh, marble was so and, speedy. Uh, yeah, 85. They all have 85. Vessels of God, mm. please. Does any of my occult and, knowledge help me remember anything from that book about reversing this spell. You guys did not find anything about reversing this spell. Okay. There's something in that lake. <laughs> I am remembering the power of library use. <laughs> so, Bathsheba goes out to straight up punch you in the face, Vivienne. Mm. Oh, that's a big old marble fist. That's brutal. Uh, but she misses. And the Minotaur from behind tries to gore you. <laughs> Casually. Does not miss. <gasps> and does... Does 10 damage. I die. <laughs> I'm dead. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe at one dodge roll? Oh, sure, yeah. You want to do a dodge roll? I mean, I'll try, but... Do a dodge roll. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Well, no, you're gored. Yeah, I <laughs> die. Oh, yeah. No! <sighs> so, the minotaur horn just pierces through Vivienne's body. Can I get a sanity check, Clovis? Edwina, I assume that you are still outside until you hear the commotion, perhaps, and then... 81, I do not uh, pass. My friend, she would have bought my painting. This painting was for her, her I personal like, collection. I leave my money to my dog. Uh, Fuck you, painting. I just, I just rolled a 10. <laughs> you, you lose... Wow. <laughs> You rolled a 10? You lose 10 sanity. Yeah. <laughs> this is quickly going yes, down. Yes, I did. I believe you are. All right. I believe you are indefinitely insane because. Hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. What's your sanity? What's your sanity? My sanity was. Is that a fifth? Uh, a fifth of my it sanity was... would be 12 of my total maximum sanity. Of your total? Okay, okay. So you're not indefinitely insane, but you I have, have lost a short... one fifth of my total sanity Eight. through the whole session. Um, because I'm at 48 oh. out of 60. But um, is it? I haven't looked over it recently. But for temporary insanity, yes. there On is losing a fifth or more of current sanity points in one game day. Investigator becomes indefinitely insane. Yeah, that's me. No, that's me. Great. great Do great, I have great, to roll great. intelligence? So that's one, just that for temporary. One day, or was it? Well, that's yeah, it was temporary. all tonight. I believe. I don't see. Uh, I don't see a. Uh, yeah, cool. So, do I get to roll something? Is there like, is that from this list? How does this? Yeah. I no. continue okay, to paint the most beautiful masterpiece as yeah, you I continue scream. Painting. 
Sure, yes, you continue painting. It is all consuming. Um, and <laughs> as you do, yeah, you continue painting. Edwina! So I've heard what would the you scream. Like to do? I've heard uh, the scream from outside. Heard, do yes, I see? Heard, is there. You heard, what did I hear? Sheba would have yelled out, right? You heard her. Um, you see the lake is becoming like there's some turmoil in it and you see like one like long dark like tentacle sort of reach out and then come back down and you, and, uh, you maybe heard a scream of some sort as Clovis kind of like <laughs> sanity popped as he watched Vivienne uh, be gored to death and perhaps Vivienne screamed in some manner upon nah, I was, I was being profane <laughs> Well, I'm dead now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, do you do you look in? <laughs> Go inside. You know you do want I, to. I do. I do. I want to. But before I run inside, I want to look around. Is there anything like I like I'm where someone gets firewood? Is there anything around me that I can grab? Yeah, set the whole uh, outside cabin of this on house. fire. Is there? Is there anything around me that I can grab that 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 I can protect myself Marble, with? Marble, don't burn, baby. <laughs> I know. Marble, um, protect yourself with outside. Burn. Like, like, do I see like, a, anything? A branch for anything? Like something? Branches? Like branches? Really? Stones? Branches. Stones? Maybe I should have shot. There's not a weapon lying around outside in the middle right. of the woods. No. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in. I'm but gonna. You could use I'm a gonna stone. Stealthily... You could use like. Oh. Want objects. There's stones and rock. You know, there's nature all around you. I'm gonna get a rock that's like that's like a hefty rock. Nature is the I'm best. You're going in. Slowly check check. Well, I'm just gonna like sneaky sneaky okay. stealth around, like to peek around the corner to see what the fuck's happened. Yeah, you see Vivienne splayed out with a horn of the Minotaur through it, and the Minotaur is sort of like slowly sort of like removing her body from him and there's just blood dripping and need a hard sanity when you roll hands. from you. And you also that is a see- hard success. Uh, yeah. That is a four. Okay. Uh, so you lose one sanity. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is so rough. Um, okay. And uh, everything else is still though. Clovis is painting away. <laughs> Elvis. Uh, it will be. I mean, La Rush goes back birth. to work as well. La Rush goes back to work. Where as well. is Where is Vivian's gun? Oh, it would be in my hand. I died shooting. Ten, how fifteen. close is she? How this, close? Yeah, is let me she tell you. Do I see? You You look in through the front door. To the right is that workshop. There is a small two foot wooden unicorn, like prancing around. Uh, in that doorway, there's Beth Sheba looking on, and then there is uh, Vivian's body between them, because the Minotaur came from behind. They were on either side of her. <sighs> and Beth Sheba turns around to look at you. But her well, face is a little me. fucked up, right? She sees me. Yeah, yeah, her face is a little, is, is pretty fucked up. Got, as like, soon as she turns to look at me and I clock like, that she sees... Off. As soon as I clock that she sees me, I say, I want to paint... I, I want to paint. Ah, I just want to paint. Of course. All I want to do is paint. Ooh. Come paint with us. Of course. I, I, I had a vision because of you. I, yes. I, I saw the mountains and the clouds and it was glorious. Yes. I couldn't keep away from the cabin. I had to come back. I tried to stay away from you, but I couldn't. Uh, and I moved moving closer and closer to her and trying to position myself close to Vivian's body where I might be able to grab this gun. Create. Make. Okay, and you do and she's like, yes. And sort of just like looking around, you're able to come in. Um, do a okay. sleight of hand check for me to pick up the gun. Or you can do sleight of hand or is there is there like a deception of some kind? If you don't want it to look aggressive as you are going for it. I've got... Charm, so sleight of hand is fine because I rolled a two, so it really doesn't fucking matter what. Uh, okay. Uh, sleight of All hand right, is, so yeah, you, it's two, two so under you, ten. You grab it. Okay. Who are you going to shoot? I'll let you have one shot since oh. they didn't see you grab it. 
I don't know yet. I'm slight of handing it into my um, okay. handy pockets in my dress. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to go by Clovis, where Clovis yes. is painting. Painting. Let me know, watch. Beautiful, beautiful. Watch me painting. work. <laughs> I'm just going to yes. kind of like, I'm just going to kind of steal myself as he's painting and just like, you bide look, my time. Yeah, when you look at Clovis's eyes, it's like Clovis is not there. Kill me. Clovis is gone. Kill me. Clovis is Clovis gone. gone. <laughs> you lost Clovis. Clovis has left the building. Okay. Are there any other Yeah, you can no Clovis other? barely sees you. Clovis sees you know, like is speaking to the you speaking. Clovis is birth. somewhere else. Clovis is on not your here. Face. It's like yeah, the ripping open of the... Don't worry about it. I don't know what you call perineum. Bathsheba turns around and walks out of the room. Excellent. How about the Minotaur? It is still sort of like in the center. And the rush sort of comes over and cleans off the blood and like polishes the Minotaur. What about Tiny Unicorn? Tiny Unicorn just... Just prancing about, kind of go in and out, like into the lounge, the entryway that you were in, and then sort of like back. Kind of like my dog. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just kind of peeking in and peeking out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, God. I'm literally, like, I literally feel like she's frozen and trying to figure out what to do because I too am frozen and trying to figure out what mm -hmm. to do. Vivian's body um, is lifelessly bleeding out on the floor. I mean, it's she's dead, but you know, the blood is right. pooling at your feet. And I have her gun. Who else is in the room? It's it's just Clovis and me and LaRoche? Yes. Ah, fuck it. He's the fucker who started the whole thing. <laughs> fuck this motherfucker. Thank you! I um, thought my biggest regret is not shooting him. <laughs> fuck this motherfucker. LaRoche? I'm gonna shoot LaRoche. Okay. Um... Give me a... Uh, and I'm going to shoot him when he's not looking, because obviously he's focused. Yeah, he's cleaning up. Yeah, no, that's... I'm giving you this free shot, because they do have higher dexterity than you, but I'm allowing you to shoot them, because they haven't seen you. Okay. Come on, this. motherfucking dice. Don't fuck with me now. Come on. Come on. Come on, babies. Okay, so, okay. Is it handgun? Yes. Yes! 25 <laughs> under 40. 35? Okay, yeah. So, 20, 25 under 40. 25 under 40. Okay. Um, I was a little worried there because my rifle is 25, but my handgun is 40. He did successfully dodge, but how I'm going to have this out is that the Minotaur, who is looking at you, he's cleaning, ah! and the Minotaur like moves him out of the side, out of the way, and goes to rush at you. Goes to la rush at you? Yeah, yeah, the Minotaur is la rushing <laughs> your way. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Uh, luckily can for I you, dodge? Can I dodge? real boulder rush. You don't have to dodge. Luckily for you, he was kind of like, you know, thrown off by moving La Rush and, and heading your way. And he misses. He, he uh, mis aims that. At that point, the unicorn sort of like turns back and like t -t 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 comes to like, you know, a unicorn spear your calf. Kick the little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, first he's wearing my high heel boots. I'm going to kick the little fucker. Oh, hell yeah, you are. Do, do, do. You kill my friend. Um, and also misses. <laughs> I got also I got, misses. I got prance and high heel feet, man. I got prance and high heel feet. You can't mess with these moves. And uh, the Minotaur is making these noises, and you hear Beth. She was like, "What's going on?" And comes no, back, I'm turn makes her way no. over. Uh, now, you may, wait. Let me see what La Rush's dexterity. Is. La Rush gets up. He says, "What are you doing?" And he comes towards you with his chisel. Oh. And does not uh, succeed. So luckily this first round they've all just sort this. of like been thrown off. This. They thought they thought you were one of them. So what would you like to do now? I would like to shoot LaRoche. I'm do just gonna okay. keep trying to kill this so mother another mother. so do, do a firearms roll. Thank you. All right, so you hit, do your damage, uh, do a d8 as well. One d8 uh -huh. for your damage. Uh -huh. 
What? Your eight. mic's being weird. But, eight. Oh, an eight. Eight, eight, eight. Yes. Okay. But it looked you... like celebration. <laughs> yeah. You shoot him <laughs> uh, uh, right in the leg, and it nicks an artery, and he's hurt, but he's not he's down. He's just like, ah, what are you doing? I thought you were one of us. I thought you were one of us. Ah. It's because of you that my friends are dead, and one of my friends is going to die. You're going down. Minotaur turns around get, get, get. to oh, rush at you <laughs> once more. Not before I do. <laughs> Fucking Minotaur. Oh, Clovis. Oh, no, you Clovis, you're insane. <laughs> well, maybe Clovis does something insane to anyone near him. I think that you are <laughs> gripped in the throes of this painting. I don't think you even did, know did what's happening. Did four hours pass, though? Because I really want to know what happens with a perfect four... painting after four hours. <laughs> You'll know. You'll know. Four hours has not passed. Okay. But it's like right. This has not been four hours. Of, it's been like maybe 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. Um, this, that's pretty uh, okay. The Minotaur hits you. Got a 44 under his brawl. Uh, would you like to uh, do a dodge check for me? Is that just once that you can try to dodge? Per round. Becca? Is per round. Okay. So you can uh, try to. Would you like to dodge the Minotaur? Yes, I would like to dodge okay. the Minotaur. So I don't want to get do gored. Do a dodge roll for me. Oh, God. Okay, that'll count because it's on the table. 23. Okay. Under, so, what? what is it? What's my so thing? You do your dodge is 35. So you dodged. Okay. 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 Uh, Bathsheba comes in, ready to wring your neck with her marble hands. I, I've, got, I've got a choke around so she can't. <laughs> um, she misses and the unicorn and me you see out of the corner of your eye it's like water um, flowing out of this lake that you see through the lake uh, the oh, we're, all gonna, we're, we're all gonna die <laughs> uh, we're all gonna die unicorn yeah. misses I believe yes unicorn misses <laughs> Things Gosh. in lakes are never so good lucky. in Call of Cthulhu. No, no. <laughs> and, tentacles uh, tentacles in see, general, never a good sign. You see this like <laughs> large kraken rising out of the lake. It's made entirely of wood that is just making its way and moving through towards the cabin. Oh. It's your turn. <laughs> Fire stop. Like Shooting LaRoche. I just want to say, in real life, I would have run, but this is uh, <laughs> this is a game. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so game. Uh, go ahead and roll your firearms. Come on, motherfucker! <laughs> seven, go for it. Seven. I don't know why I keep looking. The seven under forty. Nice. Okay, so we're on a new round. He's Dude, these hard. guys are sticking with me for the rest of my he life. He dodges. He got a six. Fucker. Fucker. <laughs> I don't okay. like him anymore. I didn't like him before to begin with. But a special. But here comes. Turns back towards you. I'm going down. 98. He misses. Got Bathsheba, who's still like trying to get at you, but there's so many different creatures here really trying to get on There's a lot of them. What was that? I mean, I've done pretty good. A menagerie. This guy's been busy. I mean, seriously. Uh, nope. Bathsheba also misses 69, though. Very nice. Um, and the <laughs> unicorn. Oh, the unicorn does not miss. Hooray. Uh, would you like to try and dodge? Does the unicorn yes. have a voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You little annoying little fucker. 30, 34 under 40. Okay, so you dodge the dodge. unicorn. Meanwhile... A tentacle like shoots through the window, uh, shattering it everywhere. No, the property value. And it's coming for me. It's trying for to me. <laughs> reach towards you and spear you. Yeah. a twelve, so it hits. Yeah, You've already I'm, dodged. I'm bad. Oh, you can only dodge once. Yes, per round. I've made a lot of faces in the last you take minute. Three damage as it spears through okay. your arm. Okay, I can handle that. I can handle that. It's annoying as fuck, but I can handle that. All right. Luckily, because um, it's made of wood. Oh, right. And it's kind of splintering as it's like moving towards to defend. Uh, go ahead once more. With I'm glad attack. that worked out, but I have to tell you, I absolutely lied to you. 
And each time a character is attacked, they get to choose how they will respond, either by dodging or fighting back. Oh. <laughs> okay. So can we go back once. in time and I dodge? It happened once. It's fine. Wait, you can fight back each attack? Oh! I bet you I probably- Well, yes. You can... Uh, a tie goes to the attacker if you're fighting back. A, a tie goes to the dodger if you're dodging. But each time you get an, a, a chance to parry. And maybe that doesn't apply if it's a giant tentacle coming through the window. But maybe... I still think... I think Vivian right. still would have died because it was a one single hit that got you. Legit. Hard to dodge a task. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't. Right. Um, so go it, try. You, you can uh, roll me another dodge for that la for the tentacle. We'll do it from here on. Uh, zero zero two is two, right? Not twenty. Yes. 20? Yeah, yeah. yes. Okay, zero so zero two. Okay. So, so you I dodge. Didn't take that three damage or however much it was. Fantastic. So can give that back. But I'm okay. gonna die soon anyway because I have a lot of bad guys around. I really run! just want LaRoche to die. Just run. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't know. I feel like that's going to be a horror movie ending. <laughs> um, I mean, if I kill LaRoche, does, do all of his art pieces die? That's the question. Yeah. Okay. I mean, let's find out. At this shift. point, we're just doing science. Let's right. find out. It's really just it's really just an experiment. Mm -hmm. 38 okay. under 40. 38. Okay. And he failed his dodge. Excellent. So 1d8. So 1d8. Roll an 8. I'm just fucking forget them. Let's find another time. Uh, there's another one to add here. I really need a bigger dice roller container. Yeah, that's a seven. The rush falls dead. The other, the sculptures, they keep going. <laughs> Motherfuckers! <laughs> they are, they are uh, still going. Coming towards you, right. the Minotaur, right. enraged right. that you have destroyed well, at least their now, artist. At least now I know. You know, I'm going to die knowing. But but now, you know, they, they look to uh, protect Clovis. Minotaur fails on the first one, and Bathsheba ooh, does not fail. So would you like to dodge or retaliate? Yeah. Dodge. Okay. 13. Okay. Uh, so she does not hit. Uh, and the unicorn also hits. Tell you. So, so she dodge. can dodge each time? Yes. I'm just <laughs> confirming that you could dodge each yeah. time. Yeah. Or, or stab back. 25. Okay. All right. Go. Oh, sorry. Kraken. <laughs> D misses. Go ahead. Um, I'm getting the fuck out of there. I'm running. You're running. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm just. I mean, I know they're faster than I am, yeah, but let's you know. Me, let's end this. Let's end this dramatically. Give me like a dex check. So I just have to roll under do seventy, you, basically. Do you do you drop your weapon? Yeah. Uh, yes, under a seventy. Do I drop my weapon? Oh, that's a good question. How many bullets do uh, does that damn thing have anyway? That's a good question. Probably fired probably them all limited. off. I probably fired them all off at this yeah, point. Yeah, anyway. it's probably. Let's empty. assume I fired them all off. So I, I drop the weapon and I, I throw the weapon in their direction. Okay. And I, skedaddle. Okay. All right. Do your check for me. Yeah. The one time she goes horribly wrong. That was a fail. Oh no! But you threw yes, the weapon. Fail. Yes. And uh, they do not. If you do not attack them, they do not continue to attack you. And so you are able to make your way and run out. Clovis continues to paint. Yes. What a blizzard continues. brawl! And you make a masterpiece. Absolutely <gasps> beautiful. Um, before I tell you what comes next, Edwina, Edwina come look. Edwina. Edwina, what do you do in the days that follow? Me? You get reports. I no, go to. Edwina, I go before to. Before I tell you what happens, Edwina, I want to know what Edwina does in the days that follow. You do hear reports um, on the next day of 
Justine, Dominique, all meeting their demise in a similar way to Antonin. You start to experience nosebleeds and headaches. I begin to write the story of what happened, but like in a novel form, like as a piece of art. And I describe in the most are, vivid detail I possibly can. You are still haunted by dreams of this frozen waste that you fly through with each night. And I describe the dreams as I write about it too. I describe the whole thing and not, not knowing what it means, but knowing that it means something about creation. Okay. Um, okay. Clovis, you finish that piece of art and it is gorgeous and you have no more symptoms. But you are insane, unfortunately, by everything that you have seen. And so you are taken away eventually. Well, actually, I don't think that you are because the sculptures around you corral around you and you and Bathsheba and the Kraken and this little unicorn. We go for swims in this the lake. Live together. happily ever after. You leave Paris with Bathsheba saying, Paris is not ready yet. We will go to another town. And they leave Paris. Edwina, uh, give me an art roll, please. I don't even know where that is. You You're, have you've drawing. Got drawing. You have drawing. You do not have um, oh, writing. Oh, I don't. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. I thought that we. Oh, I thought. So would okay. you like to draw? Shit. As I'm sure, like I, so. When I'm when I'm writing this story, I'm also illustrating the scenes in my notebook. And I'm drawing, I'm moving more and more towards drawing everything that happened because I'm seeing that it's happening clearer. Is that an option? Yes, you can do that. It's just going to take a lot more time. Okay. Well, I didn't realize they had drawing. Who knew? <laughs> I just have a good credit rating. I didn't know. <laughs> at, uh, at 13 40. under, 13 under, 13 under 50. That's not extreme, right? No, I ten would be is extreme. It? Yeah. So one. Um, okay. So it's it's not satisfactory. You keep going. You start experiencing nosebleeds at four a.m. Um, excruciating headaches. And uh, yes, you may try again. Come on, come on, little guys! You did so good for the rest of the whole game. I know you can save my life and make this a remotely close to happy ending. Go! I didn't Ooh. hear what you said. What? Oh, four. four. And so, uh, you start hallucinating seeing all of these visions all around you as you're working into the hours. This takes you a long time. Um, Unfortunately, you are just about to finish this piece. You are working and working, but you are also illustrating everything that you did, which is a lot. Uh, you've added a lot of extra time by, by deciding to draw your entire adventure. <laughs> and unfortunately, your time runs out at 10 a.m. When... Uh, Edwina's brain exits the back of her skull. Oh no! And is splattered all over her uh, beautiful apartment. Oh. I was so close. You so were close. close. All you had to draw was that scene you dreamed of. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I didn't. Oh. Wait, so does Clovis's painting come to life? Yes. I think it did in my mind. It does. Oh. It's it just 100%. a birth scene. The painting, <laughs> so I was trying to add on to it, the painting pulls, the, the ink pulls all together and it drips off of the canvas and pulls on the ground and from within it, a form appears. And uh, it is of the beautiful woman that you had seen holding a baby. It is our child, together. And when she steps, there are steps of paint and they go with you with these other creations to another town to plant more seeds of inspiration 
through art all over the world. It's and beautiful. Uh, I uh, hope that everyone watching has been inspired. By nah, this man, game. this is the plot. Yeah. Of the Dude, that is like the <laughs> anti. I am gonna be. I'm, I'm going. I'm going to med school. I'm, I'm quitting acting and going to med school. Man. The Maybe. only way to survive is to make a copy. Like this is the. Ah. Maybe some of you no. are gonna want to play yourself, create content yourself, make more uh, Call of Cthulhu games. <laughs> Consider yourselves inspired. <laughs> um, Y'all made it to the end of the scenario. Hey, you know what? Clovis is alive. <laughs> Insane. That's true. No, Clovis made it. Clovis had a happy ending because what he don't know, he don't know. I had well, a happy ending. Oh, Jason, no, Charles Clovis. Miller just raided us. Hello, friends. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hello, Clovis Aww, is insane. We've just guys. reached the end of our Call of Cthulhu scenario, but I hello. got mauled by a minotaur. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my brain exploded. Mauled by a marble minotaur. Oh, so yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. So I thought I it was. I lived like I died, crushing <laughs> the patriarchy. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's true. <laughs> I found it very entertaining <laughs> that you all stopped all of the NPCs from creating said art and thus guaranteed their demise. Oh, no! <laughs> oh my god. But also guaranteed the stop of the spread. Yes, yes, yes. yes absolutely. I oh, copied is... the ring tape. I'm sorry. She, Josephine just like burns everything after she, like everyone dies. <laughs> like all around her. All of the guests, not all of the guests, but a lot of the guests die in the days that follow okay she don't answer this vivienne i want to ask about josephine and whether she was a red herring but don't answer it because we'll put it on the patreon <laughs> all right that sounds good uh thank you for having us um oh so thank you everyone for watching i'm josephine mccown you can find me at jcvim uh this friday we have a sci-fi horror rpg show coming back called of Eclipse. It uses the uh, Mothership RPG. Jasmine is in that with me. We've got a great group. It's a lot of fun. We have live scored music. All of our tips go to NAMI, so it's supporting a great cause. Um, and it is our final season. I hope you all come hang out. Friday, 7 p.m. Twitch.tv slash JCVIM. Oh, heck yeah! Boom. That bronze girl, Boom. tell us what you're up to this week. Hi, hello. I'm Jasmine, that bronze girl butler. And, uh, yeah. I've uh, I'm just I, I stream on Twitch six days a week. Sorry, forgot what I do. Um, <laughs> and yeah, on Tuesday night, that's last night, we had our fifth episode of the D and D fifth edition campaign. I'm DMing called Shigar, and it rebroadcasts so cool. on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then hits YouTube the day after. You can check it out. There's a nifty little YouTube playlist for it. And yeah, hell yeah, awesome. I want to watch that. Anjali, I want to an incredible day. actor. Please tell us Hi, what guys. projects. Um, I'm going to take my hair down now that Woo! I'm not playing Edwina. <laughs> um, uh, you can uh, currently uh, uh, watch me in a number of television and film projects that you can stream from your uh, from your safe homes. Uh, most recently, you can see me in Evil Eye, the movie, uh, which is on Amazon Prime. You can see me on In All My Life. Uh, by Paramount Pictures, which also came out uh, uh, recently. And then coming soon, you can see me on the second season of the Netflix series Special, uh, which I'm very, very excited about. If you haven't seen that series already, start binging the first season now so you can be ready for the second. Anjali, love all the things you're doing. And also the way that you hold so still on your bouncy ball for most of the show is very <laughs> impressive. Yeah. I have to say, I keep forgetting that I'm on a bouncy ball and then I forget how unsettling it must be to watch me bounce. I mean, you use it at unsettling. just opportune times. So it's great. Yeah, it's really just when I get excited. All right, that's it for tonight's show. I'm Becca Scott. Uh, typically you can find me here streaming here on my channel. Uh, you can also find out everything we've been doing at good time society on our youtube channel we've got all kinds of videos for this show and other shows and uh thanks to our sponsor chaosium who publishes call of cthulhu you can use our discount code if you want 10 percent off on their online store 
Calyx 2021. All right. Uh, and oh, I should talk about Black Dice Society. I am on a show <laughs> on the DD channels, twitch.tv slash DD and um, youtube.com slash DD Wizards <laughs> every Thursday at 4 p.m. strategically time before other important DD shows. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. It's not overlapping. And you should check it out. Our third episode is tomorrow. Um, okay. Thanks, everybody. Just- Have a great night. Oh, and thank you, Josephine, for running this oh, game. This you, is Josephine. so brilliant. Thanks Such for a having pleasure. me. Bye. So cool. Bye.